And we are really close to kickoff here. Not really a great start because uh, the doctor is not in there. He's not in there. He's not logged in. Oh boy. This is where it gets difficult. <laughs> oh, what do we do? What do we do when the guy you're trying to track is not around? Where are you? Oh, he is. He is. I saw the green. Oh, my goodness. He's in. Just does he have to do that to me? <laughs> oh, man. Wow. I saw the green dot. I'm so happy. Okay, let's see. Okay, this is the this is the time to think it through. What do you want to do? What do you want to do? Oh, control the center. Any weak points to start? Okay, this, but there's nothing that strikes at it with a single pawn move. So white's going to get a nice space advantage, I feel, already. Knight is no longer in the corner. Carlson, I believe, is playing from his phone. So... Does the competition have a chance like they, <laughs> uh, like, well, yeah, he had some problems before when he was playing on mobile. Okay, so what's the story here? Preparing to defend the pawn with the bishop? Maybe playing, preparing to play with three pawns, and then knight here, I think that's what he's going to go for. Play with the trio, put this here, that there, and everybody's happy. Space. Now this knight is a really struggling piece. This, this, this pawn really kills uh, this side of the board, I feel. And he, he's trying to eliminate black's most valuable piece, and it's a goner. This feels excellent for white. The knight will be parking on d3, I imagine. Queen d3. Uh, so what's the idea here? The knight's going to go elsewhere could take and push, or you still want to maintain this pawn. And maintaining this strong pawn, giving it great value because it still keeps this knight boxed out. You know, play like this. Let's keep the king's options open, possibly. Uh, if there's ever this break, you're never really... Uh, you, you don't want to give up a, a big square to the knight, so... Ooh. He is going for this square, so black is black does have a square to pivot on now. I'm a bit surprised by this advance. Um, also, maybe looking to slip in on the dark squares a little bit. Maybe push and then here, and if ever a capture, you take with the pawn and you have a new square for a knight. Here? No? Okay, he's just maintaining this pawn. Maintaining control of d5, we can say, because of b3. Fighting against a strong post by the knight. Ah, so maybe as a pawn sack, or do you want to support it? Opposite sides castling. Black says, take the pawn, give me a file. And now Petrosian-esque. Any pawn advance will be sealed. H3, G3, G3, H3. Keeping it locked. Focusing now on the queen side. Strategic, it remains. Under a minute for Terry R2. These knights are both fighting over the f4 square. Um, a second ranked knight, but a purposeful one. How will things shape up here? Is going to be looking for a push, maybe prepare to double, and then a push. So you could take away and then try and get to a7. Yeah. Some shuffling still. Okay, and now we get this break in there. He's going to slit the bishop in. There we go. There is one big gap. And he's going to hold off on this tension, try and try and play with that. So he's going to keep the tension, maybe swipe the knight and then take here. No great knight moves with the discovery against the bishop, so you may even want to do this at some point. Giving up a pawn if you could somehow angle a knight into f5, but that's a long way off. Maybe if the knight was already here <laughs> somehow. Okay. The bishop's are gonzo. White has a space advantage on the side of the board that is uh, lively. Queen takes queen. You could be hit with an in-betweener. Now there is a connected passed pawn and a backward pawn for black. So probably need to get a knight here. 
If the king tries to come over here, it's not entirely safe because there are still possibilities for sacrifices. In fact, this could be a difficult point to defend for black in some, in some cases. White's trying to remove black's best piece, key blockader, so now this pawn at some point can jet. <laughs> jet. Uh, he could bolt. Diagonals, files can be opened up. Oh, a nice shot. He's picking up a pawn with this sequence, giving up the queen and then a skewer. Very nice. So now is the other knight excited about getting into b4? Yeah. Okay, so. And now he wants to target this point. How many moves to... Oh, very nice. He's getting a passed pawn, an outside passed pawn, two passed pawns, and... How are you going to stop them both? How do you do that? You're right here right now. In order to meet this with that. Now this knight is very passive. Hmm. 25 seconds. Still running with the king. He might have to give up this pawn to get here. I think that's the way forward. Black at some point could have two passers. He's going for it. Is there going to be enough time? Oh, that pawn runs. That pawn runs fast. That pawn cannot be caught. He's a goner, and he's hitting with check. Terry R2 knows it, throws in the towel. A resigner. Okay, and a fast pairing against former player. Player I was uh, pointing out a bit. Definitely coming into this event with a lot of experience. Does he even have... Yeah, he's played some Blitz, but yeah, he's uh, an established Chess 960 player. Going to play it like a symmetrical English? No. Uh, how's he going to play in the center? This is a very sensitive square, I would say. The Knights jumping in here. Dangerous. Now, these positions, I've, from my limited, ex limited experience with this variant, when the, when you have the bishops, like one in the corner and the other one right next to it, things can get sharp fast uh, They because they don't have to move uh, in order to be active. You just have to get some pawns out of the way. It's a contributor over the center. And I'm not surprised to see both players go with these pawn advances because these are monster squares for the knights. So um, I, could, I could see this pawn rolling. You know, Similarly, black is going with this. So basically a symmetrical structure. Um, possibilities for the knight jumping into this square. What's this knight going to do? I don't think you want to see this advance. So maybe you do hit it head on. Yeah, f5 by black. And now what are these knights going to do? It's <laughs> symmetrical going into move six. Now I don't think we're going to have a similar queen move here. I think this is where things will change a little bit. Possibilities to play in the center. Maybe look to get the knight somewhere else. It's playing in the center. Move six is where things change. About even on the clock. And he goes with the capture. So a court grip in the center for white. Not giving up an inch to any black knights. Uh, which way is uh, black and castle in both directions with this last move? Now he can go kingside, drop the king on the rook, and there you go. Do you want to go in that direction? Yes, you do. It's much cozier than on this side of the board, though there is some pretty nice defense with the bishops there. Anyhow, kingside castle for Carlson, even on the clock. At some point, ready to crack the position open. Why not, e5? Okay, well, now there has to be something, you know, that was a threat, so e5 is there, defending. Pawn takes, knight takes, and then this. You weaken your dark squares, but you get rid of a pesky knight. No, the rook is defending, preparing to double, possibly. Uh, well, black can play this at some point as well. The queen is there to defend. So, some centralization by both players. Hmm. Try for this. Seems like it shot down with a4. How do you make some progress here? Is this doing anything? I don't like this advance. Well, possibly to undermine this square. 
He's improving just a hair with bishop to b7. Not weakening the position. Man, what was wrong, I wonder, with this move? Did he mean bishop to c6? Okay, so rook has to find a new square. The f-file is battery on the f-file. I think black would like to see this capture. Hmm. Is this a possibility? It's certainly aggressive, or certainly committal. But can these guys get rolling? Oh, he's repositioning. Passed pawn if you take the knight. Don't want to give up the bishop so fast, huh? Strong posts for these knights, to be sure. I think these last few moves have uh, gotten away from Team Black. Currently, there was a threat. <laughs> Currently, there was a threat. There was a threat, a fork. Now there's a problem. It's there. He wants it. But is this move there and getting into h2? Hang on. Ah, uh, very nice defense. Blocks off the diagonal, hits the queen, and now you're ready to pick up the rook. And yeah, queen takes bishop, knight takes knight. Black is coming out ahead with this sequence, 20 seconds apiece. How to stir up some trouble. These bishops can still be strong. Knight gonna fall? Take? Okay, we got discovered checks nearby, possibly. Can't block it, it'll be challenged. Knight takes knight, mate? Incoming with a check. This is a big problem. A big problem. A big problem. Very big problem. This is not going to go well for Team Black. In a giant pickle. Two pins. Down the exchange. Down. Down a lot. Yeah. This one's a gunner. He's threatening mate. Yeah. He's just going to simplify. He's up a full rook. The former player. Dangerous. He could swipe this pawn. His diagonal is blocked. Now there are checks. All right. <laughs> He's tucking the king away. Opposite color bishops. It's a draw. Opposite color bishops. Come on, draw offer. Opposite color bishops. <laughs> Just gonna take out the take out the bishop. Oh, a check was thrown in. And he's doing this from the phone. I think I think the connection is pretty good. <laughs> Another check. No. Okay. Okay. How, how's how's White gonna break it down? Reposit. Put the bishop here. Let the bishop be the blockader. Of this pawn. This queen wants to do something else. Two point. Two point three seconds. Living off of the increment. Put this bishop here. Maybe not now because there's checks. A check here. <laughs> Don't let the queens be exchanged. Queen takes, the queens will be exchanged somehow over here. Wow. He's somehow still surviving this. He could win on time. A check is thrown in. Don't lose the bishop. Watch out. Any hanging pieces? Oh my goodness, the former player went down. <laughs> Up a rook. Ooh. <laughs> That's painful. And from that game, I mean, if that if the connection holds up like it held up for that game right there, I don't think there's going to be any problems for the doctor <laughs> fighting back down a rook. Whoo! Okay. Oh, man. All righty. Sergei Zagalko. Oh, so if you're wondering, if you're wondering, quickly, quickly, there's the top page. Okay. Let's get on with this. So, where do we stand here? Playing with the flankers. The old flank pawn attack. Who knows the theory on this one? Okay, so very, very sharp. So, the rook is ready to be active. If there's ever a capture, this pawn could be swiped. So, the bishop is there to defend. Okay. I like that move. Both knights in the corner. What is this? Starting position 3-3-3, three, 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 huh? What an interesting one. Okay, what do you do? You could get gain some space. I, I like I like that move actually. It hurts the knight some. Oh, you would drop this pawn at the end though. Bishop exchange and then that falls. Okay, what what is black doing to address this? Okay, white cannot castle kingside because of this exchange. So that's a 
problem. Ooh, what a cool move. Queen takes bishop and then a fork aroni. One rook will fall. <laughs> ah, nice. I love that move. Queen takes. Very nice. Defends this. Also uh, gives the queen a responsibility. So the rook pawns were simply exchanged with those last couple moves. Black is now ready to castle kingside, I imagine. Is now that time? Or do you want to get this knight playing? Any issues? Maybe free the bishop at this point. Where's a good square? Right here and then here. Still not secure on this square, but this is this is a nice post. Nice and secure. Glues the queen side together. No! Okay, so he... Oh, and he can't castle. He can't castle there to defend this point because a queen takes bishop with check. There's no time for that. That, uh, the tactic queen takes c5. Ah, so neither player will be castling kingside at least. Well, there's only one castling opportunity and it's black going queenside. No queenside for team white. This guy has already moved. How are things going to shape up here? Wow, very wild. This knight is unprotected, but I don't see how you strike at it. Okay, some pressure mounting against f4. How to defend with a pawn? If you go with the pawn, this knight no longer has a good square. Well, not that this is a great square, okay? No longer has a, a safe square to go to. Some defense. Not with a pawn, a rook. A reliable post. The rook is going to get active. The knight is preventing this. Both under a minute. Queen takes pawn. Black is down a pawn. Oh, he's getting it right back, though. So, one pawn island versus two. Is this going to be enough to convert? There's still a lot of play in this position. Knight's still on board. It'll be tricky. It's starting to look a bit more technical now that the queens are exchanged. Kings will contribute. And how do we get rolling? Get this rook back here. I don't think the king wants to go too far away. I think it's the uh, king's the most efficient defender of this pawn. Um. Okay, how do you get the rook active now that this rook is here? So you want a rook exchange or what? Uh, knight exchange? No, says Carlson. I like my knight better than yours. F6 is better than B4. Play with this guy. Gain some space with the H pawn? Okay. Throws in a knight check. Maybe dances around. Gives him a... Gives him a... You know, where do you go? Commit your king. Big decision. <laughs> uh, check. Wins a pawn. Is the knight trapped? I don't think so. Can always slip away here. You'd ruin your structure, but uh, if you could do uh, without that, you do without that. He's a little, still a little bit, um, he is struggling still this night. Kind of stranded. Trying to defend. Yeah, and if rook here, the knight escapes. Somehow, under five seconds, Jigalko, you gotta move. Take like this, and then maybe an outside passer one day. This pawn controls the knight. Where's this knight going? It's a big question mark over this knight's head. Ready to roll? Ah, oh, the king's a fighter. Gotta defend. Picking up a pawn? Push? Discover check? You win a pawn? King comes back here to defend? Oh, the knight has a square now. Ah, okay, he's freed. Oh, and a big fork. Game over. <laughs> okay, that was so cool. Oh, I love these games. Okay, where are we at? There's the standings. Not in the game yet. 14, 12, 12, 12. Still, yeah, a handful of players. Flawless after four or five games. And the doctor is one of them. Is he logged in? He's not in pause mode. Is he going to get a game? How many entries? 264. Wow. We got a lot more chess to go. <laughs> Two hours and 41 minutes of this. Okay, this is, this is great. All right, what, what position? 697, starting with A4. Freedom for the queen in the corner. This doesn't mean the queen's going to race out right away, but why not give the queen some breathing space? Okay, now we turn our attention towards the center. How do we defend this pawn? 
You want to go one or two? Go one. Well, I guess, I, okay, yeah, you're going one. I already get the sense that white will be trying to castle kingside one day. Uh, already a fiend kettled bishop. Ooh, that is aggressive, I must say. This is a, a, a bit of a vulnerability at some at some point, I feel. A5. So tucks the knight in right behind the pawn. Where is this knight going to go? Can't go here right away. Queen takes pawn. Maybe can black get away with that. There's a solid approach. Just uh, d3 first. No, he's going right in for this. So where is the tactical move after queen takes pawn? What's the story there? Knight here? Ah, knight there. And then you can't stop this. There isn't a queen move that defends f7. Okay, noted. Now that was a threat. It's defended. Black put some pressure on it. Big focal point e4. It's defended, and there's a big threat. Knight f7. In fact, right from the starting position here, f7 is sensitive. So this, these quick knight moves, well, not that one. This knight move, this knight move, f2, f7 were weak. It's defended, but it's a bit inconvenient. You're blocking a center pawn. There is a punch thrown. Rook is under fire. How do you defend? This is now very uncoordinated for black. Yeah, I feel that the, yeah, you know, like, this bishop's having a tough day. This knight, this pawn. Mm, you know, very clumsy pieces now. Very clumsy pieces for black. So, and there's a big, big square here on d5 for the knight, if you want it. Don't want it just yet. A punch is thrown. Mmm. Unprotected piece. Moving forward now. Just a hair. Could crack things open with a b4 at some point. Kingside castle. b4. Knight jumping in here. All, all candidate moves, it feels. 30 seconds. Team black. Big time advantage. 11, move, 11 moves in. <laughs> Ugh. Yeah, no issue for the king. Big question mark over this guy. Where are you going to go? Okay, he's giving the knight a kick to a square he wanted to go to. Kicking both knights. Now he's going he's gonna to press over here, possibly. He's defending against knight f6. Was that really a big threat? Okay. And he's winning a pawn. f4 is a goner. Knight is there to defend. This knight is defended as well. You're not going to take this knight. Strong bishop. To watch over these squares, sensitive, the bishop watches over them. And here we go with b4. Queen exchange? Yes. No issue for uh, the king over here. This is like a pawn. Watches over these squares. And he's picking up a piece. Doesn't want it. Still in a pickle here. Knight is pinned. Bishop's under fire. Down on time. No, excuse me. Just resigned. Okay. Yeah, white was up a pawn in the end. And, yeah, every piece seems really good here. Eh, not this guy in the corner. But, yeah, not, not really well coordinated turned out there for black. Okay, two hours, 36 to go. We have four games in. Carlson 12 with fire. First place 16 with fire. Okay, let's see who we get next. Boar chess. Boar chess. They've played before in regular. One minute chess. Under a different account. Maybe a Dr. Drunkenstein account. Anyhow, what do we have here? So, as mentioned earlier... This could get sharp fast, I've noticed. These guys are already developed. So what do we do? This square? Oops. This square maybe needs to be watched over. Like in uh, Carlson's game against former player. Strong post for Knights. So things are sharp, so sharp that a piece is falling now. Going to 
tr play on. Queen for two minors. This is a goner. If you just move the queen, so you have to give up the queen. That's the that's the the best attempt. <laughs> you can't just be down a bishop. You'd much rather have two minors for the queen. So I think this one's already gone. I would be very surprised to see the champ lose this one. Check around him. Yes. New square for the knight. Uh, castling queenside. In order to castle queenside, this rook needs to move. In order to castle kingside, the queen needs to move. Okay. Ready to pick up a pawn? This is defended. This knight could be kicked away. It's making it difficult. Has some untangling to do. Castle kingside now, or pick up the pawn. Pick up the pawn, there's knight here. No, there isn't. That knight's pinned. F4 on board. Shutting down defense. Okay, this pawn will be picked up, and now maybe... Oh, the bishop is going to go. No, he's not. Oh, hang on. Bishop there. Smothered town. <laughs> 97. Bishop's under fire, and the king is ready to be cooked. <laughs> okay, 18 mover. Yeah. All right, where are we at? 20 with fire. 16, 16. Some 16s. Plenty of 16s. All right. What are we going to have here? Let me try and focus another A4. Oh, you noticing a pattern? Noticing a pattern? Queen in the corner? Some space? Some more space? Can you afford this? Yes. Okay. Now the queen is a little bit cramped. So he's taking it... He's investing some... Some tempos there, some tempi, to get some, the queen some breathing space. Giving white now an opportunity to build in the center. How are you going to strike at it now? Okay, there we go. Pawn duo, d4 on board, bishop's free. And the rook recaptures and uh, we're running into another tempo, huh? To be careful. I mean, what, what, what else are you going to do here? You're not going to pick up that pawn? You're going to go for this, possibly. Oh, sneaky. A check. Maybe the queen takes. Maybe. Taking with the rook. The knight gets to develop with tempo. Black has a big lead. The only downside I see for black right now is the queen is still in the corner. Hmm, this is going to be a strong square. Notice, um... Hmm, this is a big deal. White has an e-pawn, black does not. So this knight jumping in here followed up with this move to secure this square. Yeah, notice it's not just any knight. Normally you might think, oh, let's go with this guy because he's not in the key 16, but this is also to free up this square because this is a huge jumping point for Team Black, F4. It's already a couple of games now I'm drawing some attention to these big squares for knights. Especially with some 960 positions already having a fiancadoed uh, bishop, you know, bishop in the corner. Um, yeah, these squares can connect well with that bishop. Anyhow, knight is defended with b6. Queen has some lateral movement. Possibilities even for this move, converging on this square. Queen, on, it goes, it's also a self pin. Ready to win a pawn. Mm, maybe not. You get this guy at the end. Don't want to give up this bishop too easily. So maybe this is the idea. Here and then this. Maybe here and then here. Okay, he's taking out a knight. Huh. Oh, okay. If knight takes, this pawn would fall. Okay, takes with the bishop. Under a minute. Team black. Uh, I feel like I, I'd want to play the queen here now. Yeah, I, I think that this is an improvement. I don't know how much... Yeah, definitely now. I think. I think. Should be chased away a little bit. Knight e5, right? Queen g4, knight e5. Some other candidate move? The knight's ready to move with a punch. Queen g4 it is. This move to follow even if you drop this pawn? Are you going to run this pawn? Possibly h4, h5. No. That would drop a piece. H4, you take here, and then this this is a problem. He's just backing up the bishop. Ah, the knight wants to get there. 
Give up this pawn. Put the knight here. Who cares about this guy? Okay. Queen cares about this guy. <laughs> it's ready for knight f5 now? Oh, also, there is this. Some pressure on h5. Now the knight is ready to play. Gonna go in there. Knight here. The bishop backs up. Knight is on f5. Strong piece. Under 20 for black. Pressure on the bishop. It's offset. Very nice. Good coordination for black. Maybe in time, looking to advance in the center. Things are stable. How to improve for white? Maybe a break. Okay, the knight is... Well, has some pressure on it. Okay, a break in the center. E4 it is. Light square bishop. Has no counterpart. Trying to do some damage on the light squares. This knight has a responsibility. Under five seconds for team black. Gotta go. 42 seconds for Carlson. h4 h5 now here we go bishops under fire there's gonna be a tactic soon i feel a tactic nearby pressure on the knight offering a queen exchange can go for a queen exchange damage the structure and be very well off in the end game but is there a tactical move here gonna keep the queen around here now queen exchange kill the structure and play this yeah, nice and solid, and this knight remains enormous. It's defending everything now. Getting very active. It's going to pick up a pawn, huh? But even so, uh, this pawn all the way up here, he's fighting on nice. This bishop is questioned. It's going to constantly be questioned. Where's the safe square for the bishop? Right here. Wow. Now here. He's going to be shut down. Ooh. Now this rook always has to defend that bishop. Ah, oh, it's a mating sequence. Yes, pawn here and then the taking advantage of the pin. <laughs> That's why you put that pawn all the way up there. The old checkmate and two threat. A killer pawn on h6 and a pretty fast pairing against Meneer. Who is... Okay, he had one speed bump. Here we go. Carlson remains flawless, is in second. What do we do? Sensitive points right here and here after a pawn advance. Uh, what's he going to do? He's going to combat the bishop with move one. Okay, so try and maintain this structure. And maybe black tries to break it down some. So here we go. Aim. Restrict the bishop with this setup. And what do we do now? You can't move this pawn. You, you go here. Yeah. How else are you going to... You could maybe have tried that move first. I like, I like, uh, oh my god. I like white because the queen is dead. <laughs> that one's painful. Ooh, that one's painful. He's going to fight on. Queen versus bishop. <laughs> I've, I've fallen for these before myself. Oh, they hurt. They hurt. Just out of nowhere, you know? What was that? A move. A, bit, a move five queen trap. <laughs> oh. Oh, chess 960. Okay, he has the bishop pair. Look out. Okay, does he have a pawn? What kind of compensation is there? <laughs> queen versus bishop and pawn. No, I don't know what I'm talking about. Oh, he has a rook now. A rook and pawn? One, two, three, four, five, six. A rook and pawn versus queen. Okay, 12 moves in. Oh, what a, what a killer move, huh? <laughs> F4. My focus was on, oh, F4, you know, you're going to have a great square for the night. Oof. Killer. Okay, can he fight on here? Is he going to pick up this pawn? That would be something. I think he is. Two pawns and a rook versus a, versus a queen? <laughs> Oh, a minute five. Okay, two pawns. Where's where's the king going to go, by the way? Oh, how do you save this? Can I pick up another pawn? That's too crazy. Queen's going to... Oh, my goodness. He's picking up another pawn. Three pawns. Three pawns and a rook versus a queen. <laughs> he's not that far back. To, he's not that far back. Um, material-wise now, is he? 
<laughs> okay. Bishop f5 nearby with the threat. Hang on. White has White has some threats as well. A big one. Under a minute for the doctor. How do you defend? Okay. Where are the weak points? Rook. Any any other weak points? Okay, offering a rook exchange. You need to try and keep the rooks on, but <laughs> I think that would be a big problem. White would converge very quickly on that point. So he's gonna. Oh, he says I have a big center. What are you gonna do? What are you gonna do about that? I don't need a queen. I just need a big center. <laughs> if he somehow wins this, oh man, no, it's not gonna happen. It's not gonna happen. This queen is just out of control now. Some pawns will fall. I think this pawn's gonna fly. Ah, uh, he's giving checks. Simplifying too much. Is there a fortress? Where's the fortress? That's what he's thinking about now. I'm pretty sure. How can I arrange my pieces? Gotta go here now. No, you have to you have to go into a self pin. Do you ever get out of it? I think you have to go into a self pin. Defend here. <laughs> Where's the fortress? You don't want to do this because of check and then the knight falls. So you have to stay here. Can the king come all the way? No, he can't go here. That's illegal. There is no queen trap. Oh, you could go here. That's your way. <laughs> Look at this king. This bishop remains in the corner. Is he going to inch up? The knight is a very good defender against checks, let's not forget. This rook is ready to get active now. King in the center <laughs> and right next to the knight. Right here. You could pick up the pawn up. The bishop is defended, but it's tricky. It's all of a sudden tricky, I feel, for, for white. It is it is tricky. You could advance. Doesn't want to. Wants to maintain the structure. He's going to keep control over the bishop if he can. The rook is defended. This knight is doing a lot of good things. A lot of good things. <laughs> Seventh ranks. Second rank. He's going to pick up a pawn. No. Oh, he's not going to get the rook just yet. He has to go into his self-pin. Got to untangle. He's going to try and flush the king away. This pawn's going to fly under 20 seconds. Give the queen a kick. Okay, now I think it's over. Here, you maintain the pin, and now this, followed by that. There's no good way out of this one. I think it's a resigner now. He's going to fight on for a little bit more, but yeah, this one's gonzo now. Wow, what an attempt. From move five, down a queen. To even make it this far. Oh, taking advantage of a pin and everything. There goes a rook, and there's no fancy stalemates. He throws in the towel. He made it a fight somehow. But in the end, wasn't good enough. 28. Whoa. Top two guys are flawless. How many games? Seven games? Eight games? 28-24 Carlson with his first goose egg. Okay. Connection for Carlson does not seem to be an issue at all. Is that what his rating went down? Yes, I see it. you guys in the Twitch chat. Minus 113 for that for that big L. Okay, is he um is he gonna get another game? We're gonna find out. What's the what's the front page looking like? There you have it. He's not in a game yet. Is he logged in at least? Oh, <gasps> Oh no, I see a gray dot. Is he in pause mode? He's not paused. Okay, no, the green dot is there. Maybe he... Okay, he should be getting a pairing if he's not in pause mode. There we go. Okay, he's playing against chess flash. Okay, what kind of arrangement do we have here? Oh, awkward spots for the... I like this move. Or that move. Try and get these two in. Free the bishop. If ever a capture, the rook is ready to play. He's going to play with both of these pawns. Bishop can see this is... Um, this is defended. The queen can be hit. Yes. She goes right back home. Mission accomplished. I just wanted to grab that pawn. Half open file. Keep my rook defended. Yes. Playing in the center now. Big surprise, right? 
two big pawns in the center. Regular chess, chess 960. Okay. Both bishops can see. And what now? Where is the knight going to go? Hmm, that's an interesting decision. Angling for this square and not getting in the bishop's way. Keeps his eye, the bishop's eyes open for d4. So this was really sensitive. Black is there in time, however, to defend if knight h5. Okay, yeah, I mean, both players were ready to target this point, and both were in a position to castle and defend. I don't know how much of an inconvenience this is. Oh, oh, kind of slipping in like uh, last game there. It's not a queen trap this time. Is this guy going to play? This is a super appealing square. Now that b5 is in there. I don't think that that was a good choice to defend the knight. He will be flush soon enough. So that's why we don't have a quick b3. Some patience. White says, I'll get my knight here first and then give your knight a kick. This bishop doesn't have to move. It's already playing. In fact, it might just uh, be interfering with white's pieces. It's tucked away nicely there on b1. This bishop moved just so he could castle kingside, so at some point he could be flushed. b3 nearby. White is definitely for choice. Strong center, better knight. Um, he's going to track down this bishop. He's intending on uh, the, this a3 move. Queen d3. Oh, he ran right into a fork. Oh, that was not good. <laughs> that was not good. Knight b2 with the fork. Okay, down the exchange. I still think he has a fighting chance, though, with what he pulled off in the last game. He's going to try for something on e6, possibly. No, uh, I don't know. The black, black is better here. I'm looking for knight f4. I think you have to exchange. Queen takes, and then knight here. Rook takes, there's this. You get the material back. So now this and then that. Try and control the knight. Yeah. The knight can jump in here right now with a punch, and then maybe kick this knight. No, not so fast. Not so fast. So a couple pressure points. A5, C6. No time for that. Getting out of the way. Preparing to flush the knight away. Give the knight a kick. Similar move. He's okay with giving up the bishop. It's Gonzo. Which pawn do you want? I think he's stranded over here. No? Oh, okay. He has another square on G4. And immediately go in for this. Queen G7. Queen G7, knight G4. Now, queen G7, knight E6. The queen has to still watch over E6. So the knight will be responsible for defending against this passed pawn. He has a blockade going on. If you do this, this is certainly sensitive. Oh, you can't really afford a queen exchange. Two connected passed pawns. Yeah, very active now. Team black. Getting the open files. Exactly what you would want. Being up the exchange. You can grab that pawn. Hitting the queen first. 16 seconds. Has to go into a prevent. Rook here. Knight back. <gasps> uh, you really want the knight here now. Kind of shield this. Oh, there is a knight there. Could be challenged though. Knight a4. Is he dropping stuff? Oh, he's threatening mate. He's threatening mate. No time to take the knight. There was a mate threat on g8. 10 seconds. Oh, a check. Is he getting mated? Where's the mate? Wow, the king is on the sidelines. F5. Oh, he's trying for this. Here and then here. You don't even need the queen at this point. You don't even need the queen. Oh, hang on. Queen takes h2. Oh, <laughs> how do you defend that? You got to go back, but you're not safe there. Under five. He's running for his life. These squares are just barely defended. Rook here and then that. How do you get some peace over here? Queen here and then here. Queen here and then here. See, that's... Wasn't that a move? No, you would drop this pawn. Oh, he cut off the connection with e5. <laughs> he pre-moved queen g3. He only has 1.8. Oh. <laughs> the king's still stuck. The rook is just there to defend the h-file. Oh, watch out for perpetuals. There's no perpetuals. <laughs>
<laughs> you could take. <laughs> oh, this chest night 60 stuff is too much. <laughs> oh, you just wipe out all the puns now. Wow, I love that game. <laughs> the flash goes down. Okay, and so does the top guy. First speed bump. Everybody have a loss? Yes, everybody has a loss. <laughs> okay. We still got two hours, 15 more minutes of this. Okay. Eric Rosen has an opportunity to smack the world champion around in 960. Let's see if he can do it. Alrighty. What kind of position are we working with here? Two knights in the corner, two bishops. Right here. No great diagonals opened up with pawn moves for these guys. So, starting off, a strong post for a knight. What is this, some London system? Not a big fan of bishop f4 because of this development with tempo. So what's the story here? This could already be a big problem for team white because things will open up quickly. Right? You can't do this because of that. Oh, okay, he's going to play. You could take out the bishop and we're going to already have a, a quick imbalance. So, yes, Fianchetto. How to defend. What do you want to do? One square. Oh, okay, he's going with this one, right? Not just anyone. Maybe keeping these guys just around here because one day still has a home if he wants to castle kingside. But with this pawn racing down here, maybe you don't castle. Uh, yeah, you probably castle maybe kingside if this, if this guy is getting to this point. But still, the options are open. Which way do you want to castle? We can't do this right away. There is a fork. Light square bishop exchange. You do you avoid that? Exchange? What do you do here? This is committal for sure. <laughs> Giving up that big square to the knight. So he exchanges. Are you going to keep the knight in the center? No. Okay. Bishop's gone and then c6. So maybe he goes here. This is maybe a home b7 queen somewhere castle kingside has its points though having the king on this square ah, is there a good queen move maybe here see if you can provoke a weakness and then you're ready to castle kingside this knight is reliable to defend okay so queen here feels a little awkward to block the pawn but i guess the pawn never really wants to move as a responsibility so queen on d6 Castle kingside right about now? Feels like it. Kingside castles. And what now? Strong knight for Team White. E5. And now. Queen feels like she wants to do something else. Preparing B5, possibly. B5 on board, yes. Some, it's not quite a minority attack, but okay, some play on the queen side. Taking with the rook, instructive. Okay with this isolated pawn, want some pressure against the base point b2, and bishop is a convenient defender of a5. I like that. I like that. Not taking away from the center, that's maybe another reason not to just instinctually take on b5. So rook takes, what are you doing against b2? How to defend that? How do you defend still? Another defense. Aha. So the knight is demoted. Strong square still for the knight. This guy could use some help. Get this guy here. Here. Take some work. Take, take some time. Here is met with the fork. The queen is getting out of the way. Pressure here, but the knight is a super defender. Best piece for white. Knight on d3. And now some time to reposition. Angling for e5 is getting to f3. Playing on the king side. Look out. Queen on g7. Maybe an accident happens on g2. He could quickly shift. Here, here, maybe this. The black rooks are playing the white rooks. Mm, okay, they're both on half open files. But it feels like these are... Well, I don't know. I'm not sure how to assess this exactly. The, the white knights are finding some very good squares. What's wrong with taking here? Hmm. Okay. Preparing to take here now. Okay, queen g7. King here, rook there. Still poking around. Yes, here we go. 
playing on this half open g file. Could be the case that the queen is maybe a little bit misplaced, wiping a knight. There is no knight takes pawn now. The pawn lives. Black is still up a pawn. Can threaten mate in one. Smothered mates possibly nearby. Hang on, a push. There could be a check. He might be calculating this for a little bit. Does he want to go for this, giving great value to a pawn on g3? He's calculating it. And he decides it's not good. <laughs> but he, he, he's going to maybe prep it. He's going to maybe prep it. Get the queen in a better position to get to h4. It's, it's a rat race. Under 10 seconds for each side. I think now he does it. Now you could do it. Now you, I'm pretty sure you could, could have done it there and picked up the exchange. I think it's still there with the rook here. The king doesn't have this square. Pawn controls this. The rook is in the way. Get the queen to h2 and then h1. It's still there. It's still there, I'm pretty sure. Rook exchange first. I believe it's not there anymore. <laughs> it's still there with the rook on e2. Go. He's not. I'm pretty sure it's there. I'm pretty sure it's there. Uh, it's not there anymore. It's not there anymore. Back rankers. Four seconds. Oh my god. White is up a pawn, keep in mind. A couple pawns. Now he goes for it. Now. He defends against queen h5. He's trying to get in queen h4. But the king could slip away at this point. The e2 and there's checks. He's going to run, but I think, I think white is better. Well, yeah, I mean, white is up a piece. The queen is out of play now. And now there's checks. At least a perpetual. More. There's mate. There's got to be mate here. Three seconds. In a pin. He has to dodge some checks now. Oh, man. Oh, he's trying something fancy. <laughs> Eric didn't fall for the fanciness. What a comeback. I'm pretty sure knight g3 was there with the rook on e2 for several moves. I don't know. You have to double check. I have to look back on that one. I thought knight, e knight g3 was there for a bit. Soon as that rook went to e2. Who knows, though? Nobody knows. Okay, where are we at in the standings? Watneg first, 30, 26, 26. Okay, let's see what we have here. Oh, man, a thrilling game. I love that one, too. I'm, I'm loving every game. <laughs> can, you, can you love more than one game? You could do that. Okay, he's happy. He's happy. And we have a center built up, symmetrical center. What are the knights going to do? I feel like, no, 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 not this move. Maybe that one's dangerous. Okay. Yeah, I think this was nearby, and that's why we're seeing h5. These these are coming in really fast, really fast. Bishop b2 to stop this. Wow. Okay, so, oh, once more, notice, notice a little pattern here. We've had queens on a1 for a couple games, and there goes the a-pawn. Queens on h1, and there go the h-pawns. Yeah, especially with a knight here, you know? If you get in h4, you're threatening h5 and pretty much forcing black to stop it cold with h h5, getting the knight there. Or playing h5 with the kick is nice. Anyhow, both sides castled kingside. Symmetrical structure for the most part. Aside from the g-pawns. Possible hanging pawn center. Let us see. This knight could use some work. Hmm. May want to jump up, though in a way you're helping out the queen. So if the knight isn't around, the queen could see the world. Reposition time, he says. Where's the knight going, though? Uh, he's angling for f4? Bit of a mysterious move. Okay. Rook improvement. Two active files here, C and D. Up on the clock, Team Black has very good coordination, I must say. Tough one to assess. Now that the knight isn't here, is there time for this? Now, he might return. He might return to d3 with an eye on this. f4 square is nice. Okay, things are going to change. Okay, so this could be sensitive to the queen. A little zigzag, eyeing up maybe the queen side points. There are some, uh, some squares to work with, some holes over here to be sure. The A file. 
Offering a queen exchange, looking to play against the hanging pawn structure. Now this is... Okay, you could, have, you could go for this. You have to give up the dark square bishop. Oops. This guy's more important to hang on to. Perfect coordination. Dark. Pawns on dark. Bishop on light. Things are cool there. Okay. Queen has to find a new square. Here. Takes. Takes. There's an awkward pin. So somewhere else. This pawn is dangerous though. Has my attention. Light square bishop's likely to fall. Has to find a new square. First swipes the bishop. Pawn takes knight. You take the rook. And then save the bishop. That's what we're going to have. Bishop on f3. Keep this square for the king. Pressure on d2. d2 will fall. Maybe h5 at some point. This pawn is going. No. The bishop could be played here to defend. I was thinking there's only a major piece that could defend, but... That still wouldn't be enough. Bishop has to go to b4 to hang on to the pawn, but what would white have there? Why is he not pulling the trigger on that? Bishop to b4, maybe... Mm, I don't know, missing something. Oh, knight to d3, possibly. Knight d3 with a fork wins the bishop, and then in the end, the pawn. White is up a pawn, an e-pawn. Perfect coordination for both sides, I would say. It's just that white is up a pawn. At some point, get this guy rolling, repositions the knight. What should black look for to make white struggle some? Opposite color bishops? Possibly. Yeah, opposite color bishops, both both players will put the bishops here, safeguarding their king against diagonal checks. Okay, maybe some imbalance nearby. Queen has a responsibility to defend the A-pawn, 25 seconds to 35. Okay, let's see how this, I don't see any great tactics, it's a lot of maneuvering here. If you touch this pawn, then one day this diagonal could be very sensitive. Exchange knights or not? No. Doesn't want a knight exchange. Knight f4. Maybe some accident happens right around this point. f7 and g6. Some pressure here. Some pressure here. Weakest points on the king's side. Right here. Okay. Inching in. The queen, uh, the bishop is the better defender of a2 to be sure. Ah, okay, now he's winning some... Th oh, no, 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 the knight is there to defend. Wow. Just about 10 seconds for each. Okay. Centralize the queen. And what? How do you break this down? I'm not seeing how you break this down. Both sides are solid. Watching over the base points. Defend the A-pawn, defend this pawn. All their pawns are cool. Decline the knight exchange. Trying to kill the knight. He's sneaky though. Okay, and now here we go. Playing with the e-pawn. The queen, notice, is still central. And defending this diagonal. So now a pawn break with e6. This should be broken down shortly. No, the knight has something to say about that. He wants to break this open now. Okay, white is definitely for choice now. Things got a little bit too uncoordinated for black, but both remain just... Uh, increment! Three seconds! <laughs> Still living off of the increment. Oh, uh, where do you want to go, knight? Right here. He's going to break it down now. E6, what do you take with... Oh, he's inserting a check first. Another check, maybe win a pawn with check. I think the queen could have went into Pac-Man. There goes the queen. Forget about Pac-Man mode. What am I talking about? <laughs> okay. White one. Skewer there. Wow. That was crazy town. Ooh. Opper out of nowhere. Just one loss. He's up there in first. 33 with fire. And we're in... There's already an hour... We're already an hour into this one. Two, two hours to go. Uh, where is, where is Carlson? He is in 10th, just barely on page 1 with 24. Nine points back. Okay, opponent Lancelot, 96, international master. Okay, um, was this against... Oh, I think it was against Munir. When, uh, this move was played, Carlson, when there was a bishop fiend cut he went with c6. 
That was the one where his queen got uh, hurt on move five. Uh, there's some pressure here. The knight is actually there to defend. And once more, queen in the corner. What do we have? The rook pawn, or do we call this the queen pawn now? Okay. Playing in the center, still continuing with a push on the A file. Okay. And how do we build in the center? There we go. E5 on board. What are you going to do about that? This is a threat, I feel. Takes the pawn out. Take on B3. G3, call it. Queen's off? Yes. Okay. Who stands better now in this endgame? I feel that it's black because of the slightly better structure. This pawn is now a target. Yeah. I like this bishop in the center. What are you doing first of all to defend this pawn? Bishop here? King here? Bishop f4. Can't move this knight so easily. Okay, now, now you could move the knight. Oh, he's going with the king, really? Oh, he's defending against knight to d6. I see. But it's not entirely safe. There are some checks. I guess he's going to be okay with ducking some checks or working around a knight on the d6 square. He's going to have to find a new home now. So this pawn is isolated, but, you know, causing a little bit of an inconvenience to black at the moment. This bishop needs some help. Yeah, and when you free it like this, there's going to be a big weakness on this square. Take with the pawn and challenge the knight. Open up a file. Wow. Ooh, this bishop is really a struggling piece on g8. This knight needs to go fast. Yeah, pressure on that knight right away. Otherwise, you're playing down a piece. Okay, now, now, now the black pieces are free. Two isolated pawns. Better structure for white. A little bit behind development-wise, so... If he has some moves, maybe, maybe you stop... You go here first and then go for a check. Probably if this safeguard the second rank. Some checks thrown in. Move the knight or keep him there. Another check. Going to keep these squares open. Yeah. There may be some mating net. Careful now. Careful now. Is he calculating something like this? I don't see where the mate is if you go for that. Check here. It's maybe some per perpetual, but that's... All I'm seeing. So first, defending the knight, maybe looking for this. The knight has to block. Yeah, this pawn was maybe going to fall if the king goes towards the queen side. What's this guy doing? Let's go, bishop. Some checks. Hmm, tough one. A check with the rook on b6. Oh, the bishop's going to get active. Rook is getting very active. Maybe preparing to double now. I don't see how you get at the king. I, I like I like white's position. Some serious pressure now. Move the pawn. And you drop the a pawn. Mm, this pawn's falling. Where's the counterplay? I think black is close to losing a pawn. Under 20 as well. Playing a good game. Lancelot 96, to be sure. 12 seconds. 10 seconds. Okay. Here. Hang on to the pawn. And then still ask uh, Black what they're doing about this pawn. Maybe this will be met with this. I think you have to try for that. Yeah. D4. This pawn could fall at any moment. But, you know, these rooks are active. Maybe d3, pawn falls. If you do this, the bishop shut out. Here, there's this. Do you want to do that to your bishop? Posing some problems. Not making it easy to just win a pawn for free. Okay, there goes the a pawn. But now, yeah, he's getting some pawns now. He's, and now he's up a pawn. Now whose rooks are active? Now black is better, to be sure. He's defending. And he could simplify it, especially with the time ticking away. Minor piece imbalance up a pawn as well. And the pawn is ready to roll, not just yet. Gonna babysit. 
here and then push. It's going to get running. Where does the knight want to be? Right here? No. Okay, you could go fast at least. Oh, look at the centralization. Yeah, the knight defends right here, supporting both of these advances. Uh, there goes the bishop. A one king and pawn ending. I looked away for a second. I missed, what was it, a some fork? Oh, no, it wasn't a fork. The bishop just went to a square where, where it could be captured. Maybe a mouse slip wanted bishop there. Wow. Definitely stirred up some trouble there with that d4 advance. Put white into the tank there. Got the W. Okay, and with that, where is he? He has 26 now with fire. Are we going to get a game versus Opper? Not yet. Vlad. NM opponent, ranked 47th. What to do? I like this move. So maybe he's going with this. Pawn duo. Free the queen, free the knight. Or do you want to play with these two? To be a little bit careful of these squares. The knights. Especially when the, the bishop isn't uh, around to watch over f4. So how do you want to organize? Do you still go with this? He's done something like this on the queen side in a previous game. Here it takes capture allow the tempo and then drop all the way back or something else playing with this pawn is there a great tempo against the rook after a recapture okay something else a knight on f3 knight on g3 after just a few moves you kind of get a sense of where the pieces should go um okay but things are extra sharp this feels like uh Roy Lopez, or uh, forgetting what that, uh, what's, maybe you could help me out in the chat if I have a chance to look at it. What's, what's that, uh, an early F pawn advance out of the Roy Lopez? Somebody in the chat help me out there. I'm seeing Albin Counter Gambit. No, it's not the Albin Counter Gambit. That's, uh, I'm trying to recall there. Vlad, by the way, is giving me some time to think this one through. I don't know. He has a connection issue. He's blinking. He's going gray, he's going green. Ah, Schleeman is what I had in mind. Thank you, Tech Gambino. That's what I had in mind. So anyhow, yeah, extra sharp with this F early F5. Probably take with the second ranked knight. He does. Fourth ranked pawn versus third. Check that, four versus four. Strong knight. Probably castling. I oh, could still go in either direction. Got to move the queen and the bishop in order to castle kingside. Got to move this guy to castle, well, excuse me, these two in order to castle queenside. Okay, queen d3. With an eye on this check. It's a serious one. It's a checkmate in three threat. Check, check, checkmate. Okay, there's another checkmate threat here. Checkmate. You don't even need a queen. A bishop here would be mate. Killer knight. Serious problems on the light squares. How do you defend it? You don't defend it. I think you resign. Queen check does nothing. Counterpunch. You're not defending this. It's game over. Who would have thought this knight on c5 is so good? Vlad is going in gray again. He's having some connection issues. I think this is a 10 move kill. Mate. Ooh, light squares. That's a problem. <laughs> How quickly things can go south. An 11 move kill. And with that, he got four. He has 30 with fire. Still a lot of chess to go. <laughs> okay, Boo Fisher. Okay, FM opponent, ranked number 19. How to organize the pieces. Knights here, going to play with the pawn. I think you're going to see this advance for sure. We're going to have this pawn launched. Free the bishop. Yes. And the rook, this pawn's ready to make a capture, and the rook will be happy. Yeah, I think I think white could have been a bit more aggressive with the b pawn. Okay, symmetrical on the king's side. What do we do now when this tension is here? Some space? Here, here, here. And can the center be broken down? I think you could. Here. And you could fight on. Oh, he's swiping the knight. Ah. Interesting. Going to damage the king's side and see... And see what to do next. Here, this would be a huge square. And see how you kick that knight away anytime soon. So now, what do we do? Put a pawn in the center. 
play on the light squares, working with the dark square bishop. This is still a jumping point. Okay, first e6. Ah, e6, e6. Watch over knight f5. e6 first. Eventual court grip on the king's side. c5 will be the one to challenge this duo. I understand now. Okay, bishop to b6. We had... I forget the opponent, but bishop b6, I've seen that before by him. Pressure on c5. I think the opponent had a bishop already on g1. Oh, that was against Zagalko, I, I think. Okay, strong post for the bishop. Isolated pawns for each side. How to call this one? Pressure on the rook. Where to go? Both sides still need a flight square. How to defend this guy? Just move the rook. This bishop's a convenient defender of c4, yeah. Goes back, defends the back rank. And what now? You might want to be a bit more aggressive, actually, with the h-pawn instead of h6, maybe h5. There's a prize if you get to h4. A tempo. Take with the queen or the pawn? You want to straighten out the structure? No. Could be weak soon on the dark squares. You know, a pawn takes something like this, getting a knight into d4. This is a hole. Could be shooting for that. Now, now I'm leaning more towards, well, okay, h6 still. And what now? Okay, defending the knight, looking for the f6 square. c5 square? Mm, okay, f6. Defend against queen h7. 45 seconds for white. Active queen, offer an exchange. Queen b6. No. It's playing on the king side. That is very interesting. This is this is really well coordinated. All these squares are covered. Knight and pawn. Knight shields the king from diagonal checks. The queen is defending g5. Strong post for the pieces. Pressure on f2. Move this pawn a step. How do you make some progress? Ooh, so cool. Queen takes, we got a mate in two on h2. And now this is a threat if the bishop moves. There's queen, no, there isn't. My mistake. Need another piece on that. It's going to go aggressive. f5. Mm -hmm. Bishop moves now, that would fall. Be three pieces on it, two at the moment. Under 30, breaking open the king side some. The king can find shelter over here. Hmm. Yes, he's going for it. This pawn is passed. The queen is there to defend, though. Hmm. Whose king is more vulnerable? Well, what's that about? Queen takes rook. I guess we're getting this pawn and then this rook. Has to stay as a defender of f2 to be sure. Bishop at some point, once it moves, the knight is under fire. The queen is questioned. Where do you go? Somewhere where you still defend f2. Under 20. Evening out on the clock. It's a nail biter. Step up with the king? No. He's getting the knight out of harm's way. Where's the bishop going to go? There are some checks. I don't know. This pawn is extra fast and it could be supported. Offering a queen exchange. The king needs to be able to come over here to defend. A check is thrown in. Maybe perpetuals are nearby. Check here. Here. Drops the pawn. You might have to block. How do you get the pawn? Check. King goes here. No, the queen blocks. Queen here. There's rook there. Queens are gone. The rook has to go back just to defend. Rook gets thrown in the corner. And now king up here, here, and then the knight has to reposition. He's looking for f5. He wants to cut off the communication. f5, king g6. Maybe maybe reposition the knight? Reposition the knight first. Yes, right here. Block this. Defend that. And then this pawn is ready to fall. The pawn's gone. Ten seconds. You push with check. The rook is under fire. New square. King is going to move. Discover to check. Pressure here. No, repositions the knight. No checks. Knight on c5. Get the rook active. 
Okay, now this is excellent for Black. The king is going to be playing on rank one. Oh, no, he's, he still wants to hang on to this pawn. Ooh, this is defended. Watch out for skewers. <laughs> Under three. Okay, the knight defends. Okay, now are we going to get there? We're going to get there now. The, this pawn is not giving up. He wants to hang on to every pawn. This, guy, this pawn falls. A zigzag? This is defended, though. You're going to have to come back here. If there's continual checks. I'm trying to keep them cut off. An advance, huh? Whew. A check, and where's the mate? Oh, it's nearby. This pawn is so fast, and white is actually down on the clock. A 66 mover. Oof. That was a long game for a, a 960. Yeah. Tough to parry a check, followed with a promotion. Okay, in first, Opper, 41, with fire, 41, 40, 34 is where Carlson is. Still seven back. Still an hour 44 to go. And Terry R2, next opponent. Queen in the corner, we throw that pawn up there. What are we learning here? Maybe this advance as well. I like, I like that advance, yeah, with knight here. Draw some attention to uh, the knight being tucked in behind the pawn and some rook activity. Should there ever be a capture? Now, what's this guy going to do? I wonder. Maybe you, maybe you just put the knight out first. No. It's playing with e3. Possibilities for a bishop move? Maybe this advance as well. Let's see how aggressive white wants to be. Play with this move? Or not? Okay, he's going... He's, he's he's fighting for d4. He's giving up a big square on d5. So how can white maybe focus on this square? There is there is a way. A knight, a bishop are focused on a big gap in black's camp. Okay. Going to keep the structure as is. White is prepped for castles. So is black. Both were in position as soon as the knights made a move from f1. f1, f8. And find a square, bishop. Here it was not safe, so this is tucked away. Passive looking, but um, it, it, will, it will stick around in this game. So tempo with h4 may do without castling kingside now that there's some possibilities along the h-file for the rook. In a way, I feel that white is already castled. a3, b4. And that's shot down as well, so... Black is strong on the dark squares, to be sure, but the downside are these two, b5, d5. I like white's position. No big gaps in white's camp. This bishop needs to play. I think this is the way with f3. I don't see this advance working just yet, at least. Oh, now that the knight isn't on c6, we swing the back completely around. b4 is on board. Very good coordination. A light square bishop is desirable for white. This is the, uh, I guess we could say the bad bishop. I'm really just looking to these pawns to determine that, the fixed pawns. So this could be a struggling piece in many situations. Light square bishop exchange, knight here, could only be challenged by a knight. What's Terry going to do? b6. This bishop is not a happy piece. Not at all. Light square bishop exchange, and if you could get this bishop for this knight, I think it's just over. This knight would be enormous. Probably doesn't want to jump in just yet. I'm thinking yes. So we're close by. Knight f6, bishop here, take out the knight. Offer a queen exchange. You may want to take with the knight or pawn. No, you don't want to give up this square. I don't think. May not even castle. <laughs> Who just ate their words? He may not even castle. Quarter second later, castles. <laughs> okay. Has has no no future on the H file, he determined. And we have a bishop for knight. Strong knight versus a bad bishop. Oh, this is going to be a tough one for black. I don't see how you ever win this one. Giving up two rooks for the queen. In the end, B-pawn would be a goner. 
Uh, black always has to tend to this uh, b6 pawn. Prepping f4, preparing to take towards the center and then have a path straight towards the king. Centralize the queen. There is no rook here because of a check and the queen would fall. Controls the only open file. Strong knight. G4. Ah, oh, he's going to put the king all the way over here. Nice and cozy. Ah, oh, this is beautiful. I love the technique here. Ah, oh, I'm loving the technique here. He might return. <laughs> he's not returning. And the queen's going to get very active. Rook exchange, queen here is going to hit everything. Oh, no, actually, now this pawn will fall. How do you break it down? Show us the way. You can improve the rook for starters. Here, and then maybe even play in the A file. Get the rook on this square. No, he's playing with that four. Queen takes. This is hit. This bishop struggles. Still. Wants a queen exchange. Knows in the end the rook would be very passive. Still is passive. But it seems to be highlighted even more with the queens off. How do you make progress? What's the story here? The rook needs to reposition. I think. It's not doing enough on a6. Another offer of a queen exchange, but it goes nowhere. Bouncing back and forth. b7, d7. Here we go. Rook a1. Trying something else. Maybe even go here. Nah, stay off of the dark squares. Where are the pawn breaks? Don't want to play with this. I don't know. Something was, I think something was off with f4. Even g4. I still like the f4 move instead of g4. Three seconds to 33 seconds. Okay, there was a check. This bishop is passive, but it's it's guarding some key squares. Okay, so he's getting a rook off. So now queen here. Queen on c6. Queen on c6, knight here. Maybe brings the king over here to defend the pawn. Offering a queen exchange again. And I guess it cannot be... Ooh, there could be an outside pass pawn. Oh, very passive now. Very passive, Bishop. The king needs to come over to the king's side. This pawn is going to be passed soon. Oh, he's not playing with g6. Interesting. Oh, I think he had to play with g6, no? Oh! Oh, this bishop's going to be dead. Oh, he's dead. Let's see how, pass, how, how fast these pawns could move. Oh, man. Oh, they're two connected passers. Yeah, he's going to allow it's both queen, but there's a, a knight around. Knight here, king here. Yeah, so queen and knight versus queen. This is a win for Team White. Wow. <laughs> wow. Knight right here. Nah, check. Meet your check with the check. And now these pawns will all fall. Yes, no perpetuals, he knows it. A resigner for Team Black. And with that, another W, another 4, 38 with fire. Still back, 7 points is Carlson. 45, 45, 40, 38. 295 have entered. Nice. Okay, MIG, 31. Let's see this arrangement. Position 49. Here comes to mind, here comes to mind with knight here. One of these two, I feel. I like this move. No, I like this move. Ugh. B5. Preparing to develop this knight here, huh? A punch is thrown at G2. Not something white has to react to, but okay. The diagonal is opened. Interesting. B5, A6. Okay, playing with a lot of pawns here. He's going to tuck both knights in behind the pawns. Um, why, why is the knight doing that? He's really excited about going to this square, giving this valuable tempo to white. Hmm. Well, this is sensitive. Yeah, this is sensitive. So this move is to combat knight h5, I feel. Here, here defend this point because you can't push 
And that once he's here, this isn't defending. Uh, although you could go with this move. I think black would like to keep the structure flexible back on the sec uh, seventh rank. So, okay. Anyhow, pressure was on C2. Bishop pair for team black. What's the knight going to do? Nothing just yet. And do you take the knight when it arrives here? I think you do. And then follow up with this. F5 nearby. Any tactics here for white? Had light squares be broken down? There is a serious threat, so well, these guys have to move. Which one is going to move right now and where? Yeah, this is a serious space advantage. You could see this pawn fall if this pawn could be maintained on e4, but I don't expect it will be maintained. Or white will try to chip away at it at some point with f3 or d3. Who rough structure for white. Queen also only has one square. One of these are going to fall. Oh, God. I feel really bad for this bishop. <laughs> oh, 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 man. Oh, this bishop is having such a tough time. <laughs> well, takes knight here. Pieces fall on good squares now. All of a sudden, just like that. <laughs> oh, looks, looks like magic. Sometimes. No, oh, this pawn is such a beast. Castles, double up, put the knight here, and it's a game over. This uh, this extra pawn over here on the queen side is not felt with the knight on c5, so how do you want to do it, Carlson? Where are you going to go? He's maybe going to first take some steps to secure this point. Yeah, in the most aggressive way. As forward as you can go, and you're ready to make sure you hang on to this super pawn. And you're fighting against c5 because of this pressure. So now the knight repositions. Gonna lose a pawn? This queen's defending. He might drop. No, he's, he, he has perfect coordination. He needs one more move. Not even. No, not even. Everything is absolutely perfect now, and it's just a slow grind. You might see a resigner here. You could race this pawn up or just go something conservative. Yeah. Moving the queen. He's going to glue in the pawn with a pawn. And then these rooks will be free to do something much more aggressive than defending a pawn. Yeah. They'll go from defense to attack. So these guys need to reposition. They don't want to stare at a pawn that is... Anchored in there. He has to babysit h2. Ten seconds for MIG. This is unprotected. Could do a lot of different things here. There's regrouping. Maybe just wants to produce a flight square and fight some in the center. Offer a queen exchange. Put the king here. How do you... You know, if the queens are off... You know, the, the king could just bolt right to d4. As things become simplified, this king will be able to be active, and I don't see how this guy gets active. Oh, God. Oof. Oof. It's a problem. Push. Bishop's a goner. Mate threat? Not quite. Bishop's gone. Perpetuals? Are there any? Oh, he's just going to promote. Queen check, you could block. This is just a check. You go here or here. This is defended. Okay, white th white resigns. Another W. So two win or two losses there. And the rest wins. How many games is that? 15 in there. Connection does not seem to be an issue. Playing from his cell phone, the top dog. Okay, let's get to it. 49 with fire versus 42. Where do we go in this position? What do we want to do? Ooh, have a lot of play. I could see a lot of these pawns advanced. Okay, so he's going with this one. Now, this diagonal is opened. To be careful about that. He's going to play with this. Where's the king going to go? If you move the bishop too soon, this is a problem. Okay, he's playing with c4, so queen's gambit-like. Wow. 
Okay, this is sharp. This is very sharp. Okay, well, I think we can say the king is going to have to go kingside. Both players' kings will be going kingside. Peace activity is king very early on in this position with how they played the first few moves. Here we go, a4. a4. A4, B3, the structure can be broken down. Bishops still have to move in order to castle kingside. Wow, sharp. Very, very sharp. So what, what's black going to do? White's ready, ready to win the pawn back. Take with the bishop, develop a piece. Queens can be exchanged, though. This is sensitive if the queens are off, so he's saving this pawn first before making a capture on b3. Knight here you could take, and if pawn takes, well, you'd have to take with the pawn if you go into d5. We could have a majority change. Whoa, not even reacting to that threat, acquiring two connected passed pawns. A huge imbalance now. How is white completing development? Let's find out. First, bishop c3, you gotta get the bishop here. Ooh, interfering with that. Very nice. What is it that white wants to do? Here, let me develop and stop white's plan. <laughs> Wouldn't it be funny to see queenside castle here? Here, but you still have to move the bishop. Whether you want to castle kingside or queenside, you have to move the bishop on d1. From d1. All right, knight g4. Black is ready to castle. How to complete development. Queen up, bishop here. Pressure on this square. What's what's knight e5? Oh, oh, that's what knight e5 is about. Bishop f3, a new square is available for the bishop. You still can't castle, though, because <laughs> of this bishop. Oh, the king is still in the center, call it. <laughs> center, queen side. The king is still on the queen side. <laughs> okay. How do you get the king to safety? Oh, boy. Oh man, this is going to be a problem. Maybe I uh, yeah, this is this is why this is why he's in first place. <laughs> oh. Hang on. It's up a full rook now. Wow, it doesn't even want to take the bishop back. He's he's up a rook. White is up a rook and a bishop, but the king. <laughs> a huge question mark still over the king's head. <laughs> king to be won. <laughs> okay. He's up a full rook. Not a full rook. Okay, two connected pass pawns. Shaky king position for Carlson. Wow. I don't see this one ending well. The knight's going to do something dangerous. The knight's going to be kicked. <sighs> okay, the knight move bishop here is going to hurt. I'm liking that, uh, <laughs> that move five. Oh, God. <laughs> Rook here, so the king has a new square. Offer a queen exchange. Yes, let's get the queens off. My king is struggling, he says. Oh, boy. Another offer of a queen exchange. The king's going to go here. Is he finding shelter? He might be finding some shelter. Dark square blockade. Offers a rook exchange. This rook needs some help. <laughs> go somewhere else. You are terrible here. Go back. He went back. It's defended. He's undermining f3. He has a new square for the king if he wants it. Some checks. <laughs> checks with discover checks nearby. Watch out for f8. He's, he's doing something dangerous with the queen and knight. He has fought back on the clock and the position. Under 10 seconds. How are you? Okay, the king is going to run for his life. The rook can enter the attack now. There is no check here. The bishop is there to defend. Okay, a check. This has gotten away from black. Both kings are running for their lives. Oh, man. Here comes the check with the rook. This has to be leading to mate somehow. Oh, this isn't going to end well. <laughs> there, are, there are no good checks because of that. There's no queenie too. No, check here. Leading to mate. Oh, he's just getting the queens. No, more than that. The knight's going to fall. <laughs> oh, 
<laughs> what a what a nutty game. A 37 mover against the top dog. A big win. 50 Frostworm out of nowhere. 50 with fire. 49, 49, 47. And the doctor in there. 46 with fire. A win. And he has 50 as well. <laughs> okay, here we go. I missed I've missed the first move. We're kicking off with g4, and now there is no castles queenside for black. So, what to do? What to do? I'm missing a ton of moves here. I'm uh, going to have to move this pawn at some point. First, a knight move. Queen here throws a punch at the rook. He has that in his back pocket. He's ready to castle queenside now with this last move. Knights. Not too often you see the knights obstruct both center pawns, but they'll be looking for some nice jumping squares. This is a key one. Has a pawn around if I could draw an arrow. Knight e5. Maybe a punch at the queen. And what else? Oh yeah, you can't you can't castle. Keep in mind. Black cannot castle in this direction. There was a Yeah, there was a capture in the corner. So where are you going to go? <laughs> You're stuck in the center or, um, you know, the king side. And you got some pieces. Oh, these arrows. Got some pieces breathing down your neck if you go king side. Okay, and now he is stuck in the center. <laughs> Both rooks had to make recaptures. Bishop recaptures, and now there's a big question mark. What are you going to do? No queen a1 ever. Maybe a push? Might as well try that, huh? Yeah, no, there's a problem here. There's a problem here. No time for a4. White's ready to win a pawn in the game, call it. Okay, so now rook is hit. This guy could be captured in the end, yeah. This king's gonna suffer. No takes here. Check here. Check here. Check. Leading to checkmate. Big problem. Poison, knight, two knights versus a rook. Yeah, and also there's pressure on the rook if the king went here. So we're going to have similar. He's going to go on a diagonal check. Now that the rook is here, he's trying to slip away. He's trying to slip away. How do you stop him from slipping away? I don't see it. Queen c4 here. You take a pawn. Boom. He's tucked away. Is he going to provoke this so the knight can get it on a juicy square? Maybe check here and then this. Maybe. Provoke this move and then angle for this square or this square. I like f6. Interferes with the open file. He's in the tank. What's he going to do? I don't think that this is great progress. You want to keep a rook on now that you're down the exchange. Under a minute. A check on c4. Force this and then focus on f6. Don't grab the pawn. Now he grabs the pawn. He's going to go into Pac-Man mode. Wins a couple pawns, maybe a third. e6 under fire. This could come later. Let me get some, some pawns first. He says, maybe you do this anyhow. Queen takes pawn. Queen takes pawn. Diagonals remain open to the king. Or do you hang on to it? Yes, he's going straight in for this. Queen takes pawn, queen takes e6. A big square. Oh, a huge square on h6 as well. Rook is hit. He dropped a pawn. Just noticing. King has to go in the corner. There is no block. Watch out for the diagonal. Watch out for the diagonal. It could be blocked. The knight is basically functioning like a bishop would. Knight on dark, get a queen on dark. It's like, uh, you know... Bishops on adjacent diagonals. He has a lot of pawns. Everything seems to be extra cozy here. Are there, uh, is there a tactical shot? Rook takes pawn, king takes, check. Get this next, a threatening mate. Here. Ooh. Oh, I love that move. Now queen c3 is, is in the air. Queen c3. Have to block. King here. Get the rook doing something else. Push the pawn. Yeah, he has to... Oh, he made is so nearby. So nearby. Push and then defend like that. You could... Oh, oh, there was an opportunity for rook takes pawn there. As soon as the queen went back, rook takes h2 was a huge shot that black missed. What was that move? 30, 29-ish? 
Oh, he's getting the he's getting the rook now. And the pawn. Oh, this this went away. He had one moment, I'm pretty sure. No, yeah, no, this is gone. Oh, wait, let me see how fast these pawns fly. I want to look back. Did he have a shot? Queen here, rook takes pawn. Wins. Oh, he had his chance. <laughs> it was picking up the queen. Okay, where are we at? 53 with fire, 51, 50, 50. Whoa. 49 is in the mix as well. Top five, all within striking distance of the top prize. What do we have here? What do we want to do? A move one. Pawn here, pawn here, pawn here. Yes, here, here. Bishops are already developed. Let's focus on something else now, like a strong pawn center, getting the knights to good squares. Um, How do we do this? What's white going to do? Action in the center. So there's going to... He, he, he's, he's weighing that um, it's okay to give this tempo to black one way or the other. Maybe a push. Yeah, it's very weakening. He does push. He says, I have enough control over this hole on d5. Maybe he gets rid of this backward pawn. He does. d5 on board. Bishop takes strong pawn in the center. Sensitive square on f5 now. Allocate the bishop to defending this point? Yeah, I think so, because I, I, I don't feel that you should be playing g6 with this bishop already on the main diagonal. And this bishop not around to, to contest this diagonal. So, bishop is here, watching over f5, mostly. The queen still needs to move to castle kingside. These guys have some work to do. They have to... They need some wiggle room. How do you do this? Some pressure mounting. Okay, this structure is around to combat the bishop, the knight. The queen has a square as well. Multi-purpose move. So now, castling nearby. The knight is defended. Mm. Okay, now the knights need to play. The bishop's already developed. Where can the knights go? Okay, knight d6 for starters. Both sides now castled. Neither side really up. Uh, Development-wise, not the greatest square for the knight. They're going to follow in each other's footsteps here and then here. How to improve? Yeah, these rooks need to go elsewhere. Get to an open file. This is a big square for a knight. Who's angling for that? Maybe trying to pick up the bishop pair? It's a possibility. Okay, contest the open file. If he wants to go here, there's not much he could do about it. It's just how it is in this position. So now what? You want to saddle white, or excuse me, black with an isolated pawn? Yes. That's what white is going for. Now he's going to key in on this square. If he can, is black going to get rid of it, though? He has enough support for this advance. It's a big focal point on c4 now. I like white's position. Okay, he has enough support for it. In the end, is there some po uh, problem with the rook hang? No, not quite. He could crash all the way through on c4 and in the end end up with the big queen on c4? He's not taking. Yeah, he ends up in some awkward pin, doesn't he? Bishop takes, then the rook is unprotected. Okay, white is up a pawn. It's a passed pawn. And he's angling for this. It's not the win of a queen, but yeah, he, he has an eye on this diagonal, to be sure. Hits with check. Defending this pawn. The bishop wants to block Cade. Most efficient defender is the bishop on c5 in this position. White is the better side... Mm -hmm. Yeah, white is the better side, being up a pawn, but it's not easy. His pawn is far advanced. Punch thrown in here. He missed that. Oh, there was two two punches thrown. He did. He he did. He made, yeah, he probably did see that. <laughs> both were hit. I don't think he could have saved both. He he wants to hang on to the a pawn. Get this guy, and now this is a passer. So white is up a pawn, but this yeah, pawn quality. Very far advanced pawn. This is going to be broken down fast. He's a runner. 
Can he be pushed? He could be pushed. It's going to be a perpetual, though. Or, excuse me, you, you could take, I think. King up? Where are the checks? Queen here? No, offer a queen exchange. Queen here. You cannot go for a queen exchange. Or no, you could for, go for a queen exchange. There, there is time for this. Gotta play king h2, otherwise... Oh, he missed it! He, he didn't play king h2. Oh! Oh! King h2. And then it was still a big fight. He just... Uh, he, he forgot he needed to play king h2. He was, he was down on the clock. Ah, oh, what a good game by Team White. Mmm, so close. Okay, he got another W there. That puts him at 54. He's playing against Knight King 96, who is in first and up. Seven points. What do we have here? This is under fire. It's defended. So this could be under fire at some point. Okay, so I think there's some variations where you could afford to give up this pawn because knight here develops and threatens to trap the queen and you could be really out of play with the pawn grab. Okay, so this is sharp, fast. Queen was trying to get some breathing space. White acquires some space now and says, I'm not allowing your knight to get out of the corner so fast. And your queen. I'm going to try and interfere with your queen's activity. Some breathing space here in the center. Going to play with this move? Yes, and if this, the knight will be happy. So we're going to see this soon, I imagine. Going here, uh, the knight. I'd be very concerned about the knight. So you push, and then here? Weasel the bishop around. I think you push in this position. And I think you get some space. Space or here? No, here, then there's a connected pass pawn possibility. Although the bishop would have a very good square. One of these two, I think he's deciding on. I don't think he's going for a capture. One of these two. Okay, he goes for some space. Ooh. Ooh. Is that why there was the big thing? Because there is the win of the exchange. With it being such a locked position, I don't think that that factors in in a great way. I think white is definitely better here, but it's still going to be a struggle. It's a fixed structure. A big square, yeah, on e6. Needs to be watched over, but the knight is a struggling piece. So let's get rid of this guy. There's some untangling here. You don't want to take here. This opens up too much. That's a big square on f. Uh, what square is that? f5. Got to work around that knight. Move the bishop, get this knight developed and fast, because things are happening soon with h4. Castle, queenside. Uh, this knight needs to play. You going to try for this? Is there a tactical opportunity? No, no, no. It just takes, takes, and then this is opening up too much. Oh, he, he is taking. Oh, he is defending this pawn. He's giving this square up, but he's winning a pawn with that sequence. He's, he, that's what this move was doing. Gotcha. I understand now. <laughs> Seven moves later, I understand. Okay. Some play for these guys, but the knight is defending this this backward pawn. Takes with the knight. The knight is helping to defend some pawns. Both knights are there to defend pawns. There's going to be some pressure. He's playing in the center now. C5 has a square for a knight. E5, C5. Queen is under fire. This pawn is going to fall. Hmm. No time for a bishop here. That would have been really nice. Glues everything together. He's going to have to give up a pawn. And has pressure here. And more importantly, a big square for a piece. A knight on e4. Knight is saved. This pawn going to run? What's the threat here? Going to jump in? Just duck? How do you coordinate with the knight on e3? Knight on d3. Do you get to g and to b2 somehow? I don't see it. White pieces are knifing in. Three white pieces in uh, Black's house. A check on board. Know what to do? Just duck? Keep the bishop around? I say you duck. Just go to go to b1. What do you want to do? Give up the bishop? In the end, you're gonna have to move the king at some point. No, it goes to c2. Okay. Both under 40. Offers a queen exchange cannot be avoided. 
queens will be off. This pawn is a killer. Yeah. This is defended. <laughs> it's kind of important. Yeah, and now this is getting broken down. Oh, nice in-betweener. Nice in-betweener there with H, with uh, A6. You take my knight, I take your bishop. I still have this knight around. This pawn needs to be saved. And this could be a problem for the king if this rook gets active. And this rook is close to getting active. Ah, I give some material back. He's taking out the knight. He's going to try and hang on to this uh, ending. This pawn is going to fall, though. Oh, these, are gonna, these, these pawns are going to be killers. He's going to give this pawn up, but... Yeah, there's nothing doing with these guys. I don't know. It's, it feels like it's... Uh, these guys are just going to get running really fast. And the rook is now ideally placed here, here, and then get ready to run. No. Could sneak up now that there isn't rook takes pawn. Beautiful square for the pack leader, Night King. Look at how fast that E pawn is. Wow. Yeah, the rook is stuck. No moves. Zook swung. 15 seconds each, call it. King just slowly inches on up. Here, here. A check. No stalemate ideas. Maybe preparing this next. No stalemate ideas. The king always has a square. Gonna resign here. Now he's gonna play it on out. Could take a pawn or that. That works. Resigner now. The top dog beats the champ. And he has 65 with fire now. That was a massive win. Wow. <laughs> a really big win. It could have been 58 to 61, but now it's 65 54 in the fire situation. Maintains the fire, Night King. Wow. And there's only an hour to go, an hour eight. Whoo. 11 points. I mean, how many games do we get in? 25? Maybe you would get a dozen more games. 11 points. Let's see if you can come back to take this uh, first 960 arena. Okay, preparing to feed Keto. And what are we going to do with this knight? I, I, I think we're going to be seeing a b5 here. Helpful for the queen and the knight. Heavy focus on kingside development in this one. Yeah, I, I think maybe early on in that last game he missed that uh, bishop coming out and trapping the rook. Like he missed earlier the bishop coming out trapping the queen. Easy to uh, fall for those early tricks in these 960 games. There are some checks now. He's not taking that pawn straight away. Oh, he didn't have enough attackers on it, that's why. <laughs> Two attackers, two defenders. Black is up a pawn. Kick this knight away first and then go here. How do you want to do it? Yes, a kick. And not so fast with this move. Doesn't want to give this square up so easily. So first maybe here. Maybe here. Maybe a check. You're not winning the knight. There is a block, but... Here, here, and then here wins the knight. Minute 30 each. Nearby A5. And then this. A5. Then here. Oh, now he's ready to do this straight away. Because there isn't this move anymore. Very nice. Much more efficient. Develop the knight. Just get on with connecting in the center. C5, and then here, and then the extra pawn is definitely felt. Still working with a full rack of pawns. Black. Now we have to go for this. Doesn't want to give this up, taking on Passan. F5 on board. Wants to connect with this guy. Getting access to E3. Opening up the E-file. Pressure on F3. Defended. More pressure. More pressure. How many pieces can be around to defend? Queen, for starters. More pressure. The knight. How's it defended further? 
Mm, I didn't see how it would be defended further. A little bit baffled by that move. Okay, getting active with the knight. It's still in the air. Knight to g5 if you want to crash through on this square. I'm going to jump in here. He's not taking a knight on the edge, is he? I'm going to jump in. Kind of get this square for the pieces. The knight, the bishop. Oh, he is taking the knight. Centralizing the queen. Surprised. Okay. Can consolidate. Strong queen. Do not want to see a knight arriving on c4. Probably giving a great weight to that. It was on the edge for just a moment, but knight c4, I guess, would have been very strong. Knight g5? Or not? No. Eyeing up the e3 square. Oh, I must be... Yeah, this is what I'm missing with this move. The knight could play into f4 as a defense. I'm thinking f3 needs to be defended directly. I understand now. Only a million moves later. Under 20, Team White. Rook here, takes, Bishop is loose. Under 15, Rook is under fire. Ah, uh, now two points. Something's, something's going. H2, A2, oh, very nice. He inserts a check first. I love that. Make sure the king is not in a strong post anymore. Check thrown in. Hmm. Oh, very interesting sequence right there. Oh, I guess this would have fallen if the rook went and captured the pawn. He wanted to hang on to this group of pawns, so he's... Uh, white is up the exchange, but the king is running for his life. There is a fork here. Gets the material back, and now this is... Soon to be felt. Oh, and there's some more tricks discover check and forks <laughs> what was that a fork we had we had a fork we had a discover check and we had another fork <laughs> that was a lot of tactics within a few moves okay 60 ooh a big loss by night king extinguished 65 58 56 frostworm is also in timeout <laughs> move one <laughs> Oh, man. Move one castles. I love it. Back-to-back -back castles. How often do you see that right there? <laughs> What's that? Chest 960 start position 293. Write a book on this position. Oh, man. Okay. Anything other than castles on move one? Novelty. Okay. I don't know what I'm talking about. Both sides are castled. It's knight strong, challenged. How is the queen going to play? The F pawn is going to roll, working with the pawn duo. To be careful of this diagonal, bishop is there to secure it if it gets to be too much. Okay, maybe preparing to now build in the center. One day establish a pawn in White's house. Here? Okay. And now what? What's this knight going to do? Not go here anymore. Hmm. Here. Here. A bishop move. Queen. What do you want to do? Here if maybe there's some pressure on this point. Here and then maybe a4 as an idea. No, he's tucking the king away. Any other point behind that? Doesn't want to see a diagonal check. Queen a7, opposite the king. A lot of pieces in between, but... Pinned. Something is pinned along this diagonal. Bishop d7, maybe looking to play on the a-file. No, playing in the center. Strong pawn presence now. Preparing to maybe play e4. Taken out. Take with the bishop or the knight. Knight eyeing up c4. How do you defend against this? This is a really strong post for the knight. c4, c5, f4, f5. Killer squares. More action in the center. 
Oh, a take and then a push. Yes, doesn't want to give white access to the e4 square. There's a few pieces who can make use of that square. So dark square bishop exchange happening soon. Probably this exchange and then the queen needs to reposition. Repositioning straight away. Still keeping the tension. The blockader of this pawn, the bishop, queen, reposition, bishop on d5 at some point. Flight squares, I'm not sure what kind of flight square you want is black. Here, there's this kind of battery. Probably have to stay strong on the, on the light squares and uh, don't allow this pawn to move. And you're safe on the dark squares and along the diagonal. Queen is very active for black, both under a minute. Um, is this winning some material? Uh, what? Maybe it was winning some material before. No, there would have been a way out. Rook here and then rook here. Bishop there now, not winning material. Could push and drop your queen if you want. <laughs> it's not something you want to do. Okay, picked up a pawn. Is there a double attack nearby? No, there's no time here, here, and then queen here. Would have been... I'm not, I'm not sure. I'm not sure if there was something there. Some double attack with queen to c2. Not sure how it would have worked out here and then here. There is no block because there's a coordination on f1. Anyhow, discover check possibly. King's going to improve first. Black is up a pawn in the better position. Has the bishop under control, queen exchange. And we're going to see some technique here. A rook on this square. Yeah. Defense. Attack. This pawn is ready to fall. And the king is ready to contribute. Hmm. I guess you have to take there. Could have tried to support it. So now, rook exchange, is this enough to win? Is this enough to win? Oh, I didn't even see that that pawn was falling. It's definitely enough to win now. Babysit. Ten seconds. We're going to get the W. The doctor's going to get the W in this one. There goes the pawn. There go the pawns. Connected passers. In general, put the pawns on dark. Yeah, resigner. 34 seconds in the tank as well. Okay, we are 58 minutes away and 67, no fire. The doctor has 58 with fire. The penguin is in there, but we have yet to see a pairing between the doctor and penguin. Okay, who are we going to get next? Get in the ring. Frostworm is still in timeout mode. Get in there, Frosty. 67.58, okay. Next opponent. What do we do here? Bishops are ready, ready to play. Opening up the eyes for one, and not just any pawn. The one that's going to help contribute to control center square immediately. So c4 first. And then b3. Okay. And now d4. Some life for the rook. And the knights are ready to make use of this square. Okay, I think we've seen something similar. Have we had this position before in the tournament? Okay, anyhow, it feels like a similar structure. Looking for a build now that this pawn is not around to help contribute. With d5, this is, ooh, this is really, I think this is maybe close to winning for white. Is that too strong to say that so early here? Castling kingside. He's allowing this pawn to race, but the center has been absolutely given up by Team Black. Move 10, and they're all on the back rank still. How did this happen? <laughs> Taking with the pawn. Not giving up this square to the knight. Open up the file for the rook. Oh, boy. Keeping the queens on. Throw a punch. Checkmate. Or you could take and... uh Probably be good in ending, but <laughs> I don't know. This is this is excellent for white ending or middle game. Let us see. 
Knight on f4. This is such a big pawn. Look at what it's doing. It's taking out a square from every black piece. This pawn's presence is certainly felt. There goes a pawn on g5. Watch out for the forks. No development for black. Okay, let's see how this one's converted. The rook is hit. He didn't even... Uh, oh, if the rook moved, you're just winning the pawn. And if the rook went here, you're, you're getting material no matter what. Had to give up the exchange. Felt it was best. And now he's going to go into Pac-Man. Oh, sorry. This is a goner. It is a goner. Knight takes knight. Rook takes knight. 25 mover. Things got away from black in the early stage. 67, 62 with fire. Only five back has fire. Knight King does not. Knight King in a game. Carlson just got paired up. What do we do? Queen in the corner. Throw that guy up there. No. B3 first was throwing a punch. Okay. So similarly, white may have to watch out for this point. Play with a pawn duo. Will he be going with this? No, he's going to go with this. So similarly, to combat the diagonal pressure. Playing with a pawn duo. No diagonals opened up towards the king. Okay, you can't get at this one. Can't get at this one just yet. Ooh. Not a queen trap with bishop there. Going to focus on the light squares, trying to break down this with b5. No takes. Drop the queen. Is there time for this move? Queen b7. So you could pull a pawn away from the center if you want with this capture. Okay, now chain reaction of captures. In the end, the queen is in the center, but the knight gets a valuable tempo. Knight c3. Bishop still needs to move in order to castle. He's thinking about it. Takes. No, he wants this pawn to live. I guess maybe uh, one day wants to focus on c6 or cause the knight a headache. Doesn't have a nice square. Black's going to build in the center, though. Has a square for the knight. Has two good squares for the knight, I would say. I like black's position. Is there something tactically off for black? Does white have anything fast? How do you challenge this pawn center? What do you do? How do you put a dent in it? First, bishop to f5 with a punch. Rook is under fire. Rook exchange. Okay, you could give that knight a kick. Now if you go here, what's this bishop going to do? Oh, there's a threat here as well. Ooh, you have to go here? You might have to play king to f2, castle by hand, and then kick the knight. Oh boy. <laughs> king f2. <laughs> Not ideal. Not at all. Just go all the way back home. Just got to get out of everybody's way. No. None of the above. You move. You react to my threat. <laughs> Okay, now maybe the bishop goes back at this stage. I don't think you take, give up the bishop and help. One develop. Okay, bishop to b1 it is. Some organization still needed for team white. Here and then here? Yes. h4, bishop h2, rook h1? No. You won't be playing rook h1 now that this is here. But bishop h2 on board. Maybe this? Get a knight here somehow? No, oh, okay, that's how he castles. See how easy it is? <laughs> Just put the bishop on h2 and go like that. Everybody's happy. Okay. He's working around this center, if you haven't realized. <laughs> he hasn't challenged it with a pawn. He's, he's just finding squares behind this big center. I, I feel the black is still the better side. I'm defending now against g6. This pawn controls this knight. This knight is under control by these pawns. And there's some big squares for black over here on the queen side. C5, C4. Open file for the rook. Still, this big center. Why it has to work around it? And look at the clock. 20 seconds. More pressure mounting on the queen side. D2, the base point, struck at. Now things are opening up. The center is finally struck at. Is it going to cost some material? He's taking with the pawn. He wants to blast it open. F5 nearby. He might drop this pawn, but look out, king. Who's going to have the safer king? There's still a lot of fuel around. F5 nearby. 
F5 is hitting. Soon. <laughs> oh, man. C2? Did he miss his opportunity for F5? I know there was Knight Takes Rook. Yeah, Knight Takes Rook going into Pac-Man. He, he has this in mind. Maybe it's shut down. This might be a good move for Black. Big hole given up, but you stop F5. Uh, you have to watch out for Rook C1. Oops. Knight is there to defend. Queen G4. Queen is slipping in. Look at the black pieces all in White's house. This has to be busted for White. It's just a move away. There's some strong move for Black. Six seconds left. Um, What do we do? Under 20. More pressure on E2. F5 finally. No, oh, he's getting two minor pieces for the Rook. He's taking on G6 first. Exchange Queens. These knights are connected. The knight's going to run in. I have a pressure on the knight. Going to win the pawn? No, not, not quite. Bishop here offsets the knight, defends both pawns. How to improve for white? I don't see how you do it. It's taking the knight, taking a pawn, two knights versus a rook. It's going to have this exchange? No. Strong knight. How do you get active with the rook? There we go. Going to get a7. Both players under 10 seconds. There goes the b pawn. How do you get this guy? Oh, taking advantage of a pin. Another check. Find a square for the rook. Perpetual? A perpetual. You're going to take the perpetual? No, he wants more. He wants more than a perpetual. I want the B pawn, he said. <laughs> okay, a roll reversal. B, uh, G pawn, you defend the A pawn, or the H pawn. <laughs> my knight wants to do something else. <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> Watch out for the tricky knight. Oh, there's no knight check. For discovery, careful. Stay on a dark square. Save your rook. Throw the bishop in a pin. Under 10. <laughs> Watch out for mates. I feel like white could get mated close. Or soon. What am I saying? Nobody knows. <laughs> Black has good coordination. How is it broken down? King's going to try to slip in. Here he goes. He's hungry. He wants the F-pawn. King up. Pawn push. <laughs> King takes pawn, rook takes bishop. Check is just barely held together. He's Zugzwang. <laughs> there goes the pawn. He's winning this. This pawn's running. No, he's check first. He just want to see the bishop. Another check. This pawn's going to run. The bishop is hit. Under three. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> this is too intense. Run pawn. 1.3 to 10. He has banked a lot of material. Is this a theoretical draw? Can he? No, one second. Barely. He could have tried this if he was ever in pre-move mode. It would have been stalemate. He could have tried one last move. <laughs> Objective win in the end. Wow. What a nail biter. <laughs> what a ridiculous game. 69-66 with fire. Big win. Only three back with 47 to go. Whoo. Give me a second here. Man. Okay, we have the wizard. <laughs> okay, the wizard is here. Uh, punch is thrown early on. A7. Wow. Some of these games are just fantastic. <laughs> oh, and you get plenty of variety. That's what this variant is all about. Mm, Got to think. Think on your feet. Right from move one. Okay, interesting play. Both of these structures are combating uh, the diagonal pressure. He's going to slowly tuck some pieces in now behind this structure, this little this wall of pawns in the center. Strong pawn in the center is challenged. He's going to try and maintain that because he knows this knight will struggle if this pawn is around. So what just happened there? Oh, he castled. <laughs> I only saw one piece move. Okay, the, he did a castle. As soon as the knight moved, he was able to castle queenside. Okay. Oh, oh, clearance. Nice. And what's the follow-up, though? Seems nice. But why exactly? Oh, okay, this is why. <laughs> Double isolated pawns, yes. Ooh, black with this sequence has some squares to work with, in short.
on the C file. C4 is the big one. This night, we'll play eventually. I'm going to take the bishop and then go here or here right away. Here right away. Something needs to be done here. Okay, the queen is very active. This queen is in a pin. Strong bishop there in the corner. Strong knight. Get this guy playing now. This guy needs some help. He's getting rolling. You could step here without fear of this typical breaking up the of the pawn duo because the pawn the the pin is still present against e4. Is this hitting? Just one rook. Don't want to take this pawn. Or this pawn, really. You're giving open files towards your own king. So, maybe here and then here. He's going to defend the bishop. Get off of this. Okay, he's getting out of one of the pins. He's going into another. But uh, maybe this is nearby. He wants to play with e5. Yeah, e5 now. Don't let don't let this move happen. Oh, he's winning the bishop. So it is it is hitting something now more than just the rook. Hmm. Take the bishop and then open up the position possibly from this diagonal. Play to your strengths. Considering this move first, possibly yes. Picking up a pawn now. Oh, that the other detail. Now that the king was off of this file, this was. Maybe something. So now the queen has to move and still defend the knight. Did he account for this? Queen here? Some other move? Is he going for a queen sack? No. Here he could take and then there's pressure here. Mm, yeah. I don't think that that would be working. There's that, but then there's this. That's defended again. Okay, now he gets the bishop. He's going to try and put this guy to use. This is where there's a, a big imbalance bishop versus knight but this this these are some weak squares c5 or c6 a6 queen is getting very active very active so you have to defend like that but then there's take and if you do this you drop your pawn are you prepared to recapture with the king and then run over here none of the above You're just moving the knight giving up the pawn preparing to take here e4 is under fire rook exchange might have to take with the knight. The queen's going to take here, and you don't get this pawn. Ooh. Knight is hit. Throwing a punch right back. There are no good checks here for the queen again. <laughs> queen against the king. What other piece? What other piece? Body count. White is up a pawn. No, no, no. It's even material. Excuse me. So you could afford a queen exchange, and then get the king up. Black will have an easier time activating the king giving up a pawn in order to get this ending oh did he account the knight has to go back you got to hang on to this guy i think he doesn't want that he's going to hang on to the knight he's dangerous watch out for checks to get this pawn in the end he's going to move him okay we got some got some checks he's going to get that rook pawn he wants more where, what's happening here he's going to move the pawn and where what's the follow-up he didn't take that pawn Tried to cut off the king. Six seconds. Let's go back somewhere. Both under 10, living off of the increment. He still wants something against the king. Is there a mating net? Where is the mating net? You could give a check. Now king here. A check. Can I get this pawn? Oh, careful, 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 king. Take on g3 now. Oh, now they might all fall. They might all fall. There goes two. Oh, right, there goes three. <laughs> there another check. This knight is hungry. Oh, he's very hungry. Watch out for a fork -a Oh, there was a discover check. You could take the rook. He wants more. He wants mate. He's got mate. Oh, <laughs> the wizard goes down. Oh, man. 71 with fire. 70. 41 minutes to go. One point back. Both have, yeah, both have fire. <laughs> Oh, that was such a cool game. Oh, what game isn't cool? Okay, 315 are in here. The Lone Rider, number six. Rank six. Oh, oh, queen in the corner. Do we do this now? No. Not now. We play in the center. I think 
just my quick thoughts, I probably would have played this on move one. I like that kind of setup. Here for the rook, for the knight. But he's playing with e4. Saying it is best by test. And maybe play with this. Ah, I think he's going to throw in that move. Yes. And he's okay with the queen coming out and allowing this tempo. The queen will find a square here. And then maybe he goes for some uh, bind on d5. Okay, he's going to support it. Push. Space. Some space. C4 will be played at some point. Right now is it. And maybe this. Give up this square just to get this pawn rolling. Yeah, I think I like this move. Giving up this square. Give up a big square. No, he's not going to go for that. I like that idea, though. With the rook already opposite the king. Race that pawn all the way up here. Put a piece here, even if you give it up at some point. You get the, the play on this. It's interesting. There's so many different ideas. Okay, so feels very King's Indian defense-like. Some trades. A big square on e4. Bishop is not here just yet. Um, okay, still remains a big square. Better bishop for white. Knight on e4. This pawn will be playing to g3 soon. Maybe, maybe black gets there beforehand. g3, knight, h3. g3 now? No g3 yet. I'm pretty sure g3 will be in there soon. So you want to take better care over f3 first? Doesn't want the queen to slip in? Just it scares me seeing the knight on f4. He's playing with f3 first. Maybe f3 and then g3. Is that nearby? Can he play... Play that now. Reposition the bishop. Defend against mate. There's also a check here now that there's a pin. Minute 13. Ready to take the knight out. Strong knight. And now, this isn't winning any material just yet because there's still a pin white needs to get out of. Playing on the queen side, where white has some space. To take with the bishop. So, playing against c7 now, and at some point there can be an d6 advance. This pawn falls, this guy is passed and fast. And it'll be basically a connected pawn, I feel, with the knight on e4. So now, g3 is in there, finally. f3 is a little bit sensitive. So here the knight could return. Okay, some serious pressure against f3. Black just challenged. White's best piece on e4. He's picking up a pawn. I guess e4 is met with f4. His file shut down. White is up a pawn. His pawn is passed and ready to roll. And as soon as it moves, queen d5. Excellent post for the queen. Similar story, defense of f3, but much more aggressive. Maybe pick up the b pawn one day. But this pawn is going to look to be pushed. Right now, I imagine... Yes, and the rook is there to defend the the rank checks. Yeah, push, shut down. You gotta you gotta try g5. Uh, this this isn't gonna go anywhere for the lone rider. I think Carlson's getting this one. It's pretty clear. You keep on pushing, not just yet. Save the rook. How do you do this? Threaten me. That's one way to do it. There's pressure here as well. Exchange rooks. Ah, throw them in a pin. <laughs> there's no there's no rook takes either, taking advantage of the unprotected queen. Black's in a pickle. Still needs to sort out this pin. You could take and then push. Or here and then push. Rook e7 and then push. There's always this as a defense. Oh, he's just down on time. He's living off of the increment. Okay, and with that win, ooh, this is first time in first with 36 minutes to go. 74 with fire. Night King, Opper, Watneg, no fire. Wow, that was a big win. One, two, three, four, five, six games in a row. He has won. Slipped up three times, 25 games in there, 88% win rate. Where is the Slippery Penguin? He's in 8th with 57. No pairing against the Penguin yet. 
Yosef. Fide Master, what do we do? Move one. Play in the center. Play in the center. Pawn on e4. Not the first time we're seeing this. Weird rook position. Pawn duo. How do you defend this pawn? Knight here? Pawn here. Knight here. I like this here, this move. Knight g3, f3. Oh, is he intending on knight f2 instead? Knight f2 it is. Needs to move the bishop while oh, he's getting some space. He has the opportunity for some space. Does he want it? Something better? Inserting a check first. Oh! He's okay with being uncastled. Really? This isn't going to end well. This is going to get blasted open, I feel. Ooh. Let's open it up. That's my first thought. Let's open it up. And Black with this move is saying, I'm going to hold on tight. As tight as I can to d5. If, if there's no d5 pawn for black, this is going to collapse and fast. So b3, prepping c4. An explosive move. <laughs> An explosive move to be sure. c4 on board. More pressure with knight c3. Bishop wants to do something, but I think the knight belongs on c3. Something else. No, knight to e3. Interesting. And take with the pawn or the knight. Both are appealing. It's taking with the knight. A slight improvement for this guy. And there is no d5 pawn, so what does this mean? Well, now white can break further with d5. And maybe right now, opening up the queen's eyes to g7. More pressure against the bishop. You can maybe do this first with that. <laughs> I don't know. This is a serious, serious problem for this king who is without a home for forever. No good home and just d5. It's one of those moves where you, you don't have to really calculate. You just know the open lines and diagonals towards the enemy king are going are gonna to net something at some point. And look at all the lines opened up. I think he's losing a pawn with this sequence, but it doesn't matter. Every piece is doing something good. Just get this guy involved. Rook on the C file. Bishop cuts out the the queen is does not even have a square. Hmm. <laughs> now there's you know time for an H pawn to run if you want to do it like that. Here with B4, breaking open the position more. A pin. This knight cannot move. This pawn... Oh, it could move. Knight here, you could take the pawn. But okay, it blocks the pin, offering an exchange of queens. <laughs> I'm a bit surprised to see that. Having the safer king, offering a queen exchange like this. I thought uh, continuing with this would have been nice. Okay, rook to b2. What's the story there? I don't know. Can't make sense of rook to b2. Preparing to double, I guess. Gonna take with the rook? Yes. I guess that was the idea. Still keeping this option open. And now if take on Passan, you drop the bishop. Hmm. Surprising game. I am surprised. So, oh, he's taking out, he's getting two pawns and a rook for the two miners. Huh. It's not going in for that. So now it's just a rook ending where white is up a pawn. And this is the big one. This is the extra. And it's passed. One rook exchange will make life a lot easier for team white. Feel a lot more comfortable advancing the king. Oh, he's just going to keep pushing because the rook is there to help. Just get right behind it. Get the rook over here. Activity, checks. King's position is brought into question. Passive rook. So it's basically this rook versus this rook. Oh, he's going to get that pawn back. Going to defend? Oh, mates, possibly. Here and here is a serious mate threat. Yeah, black has to be in a position to challenge the white king if he posts up on f3. There is no mate here. There are perpetuals. But white is, of course, looking for more. 
going to throw in some checks. Bank some time. Normally there are time burners, but in <laughs> this time control there are time bankers. Time bankers, getting that, that second. 21 seconds apiece. Okay. I think uh, an exchange of rooks king here, white is winning. Capture away here, you get this pawn. White is going to be up a pawn still. Black is just not... Okay, he's going to maybe try over here. There's some checks. Yeah, it's a little scary. Oh, does he, does he have an opportunity for... He has a perpetual. He has a perpetual on these three. He could have hit him with a perpetual. There's no blocking. He had an opportunity for a perpetual with that rook post. Oh, and the, he ran into a repetition. Oof. Where are we at with the standing? 76. Okay, he still got two for that, but no fire for the top four. Terry R2, third third um third pairing for these two. It's a very surprising game. I I don't know. I still can't make sense of why um I don't know. Why go for the queen exchange? Probably missing something. Oof. That feels a little bit off as well. Did he really mean to go two squares? <laughs> Is it okay that I question some of these moves? I don't know. It's just my rough thoughts. I feel I I, I thought that um, it's important to control that knight with this square. Okay, so he's gonna play with this really weak square d5. He's gonna say it's all right. I will work around a knight on this square. You don't bother me. I'm gonna play for b5 one day. B5 on board right now when white is not in a position to recapture towards the center. Ooh, he's giving up the exchange now because this last move threw a punch at the rook. So imbalance position, static position, uh, knight and pawn for the rook. It's a big pawn. Going to challenge white's best piece on D5. Continue to put pressure here. Passer. D4. Take with the pawn or the knight. None of the above. First, taking away on D5. Ooh, killer bees. Killer bees. White and black can now castle. Queen up. Keep pressure here. Who? This is a juicy square on F4. Looking to trade one of the bishops. Queen B5. Wants to keep a strong queen post. You could get rid of my bishops, but I want to have a good queen if we're going to do that. Still imbalanced. Huh. A rook up and over, huh? i put the rook on f3. I guess so. A knight on f5 would be pretty good. Offers a queen exchange. Does not want it. Wants the b-pawn, and I think is going to get it. Does he have coordination? He has coordination. This knight is so good. Stable square. Defends the pawn. Good coordination. In time, try to get this pawn rolling. One sensitive point for team... Oh, the queen has to block. Have to go here. Oh, and the queen's gone. Bishop h2. <laughs> oh, backbreaker. <laughs> okay. A w. 78, up by 5. <laughs> wow, these three hours are flying by for me. 26 minutes remaining, 78, 73, 67, no game yet. How many more games are we going to get in there? Maybe five? Five more games? A huge game, huge game. Number one versus number two. Night King got them in their first encounter. So... Move one, what are we going to do? Focus on developing the bishop. I, I imagine this pawn will be looking to play so the knight can move and the bishop can see. F5. Also, the knight can be tucked in. Yeah, the knights will have good squares here. Does the, the bishop want to play soon? I think we're going to have this. Yeah, I think we're going to have... You have to be a little bit careful. This can sting somehow undermine this pawn and the bishop gets in here here put the pawn here 
Does this pawn want to go two squares in this game? N staying flexible. Knight f6. Keeping the options open with the pawns. Let's let's see how white sets up first. This pawn cannot move. How are these bishops going to play exactly? So he's tucking the pieces in. Staying ultra flexible. Still staying flexible, not giving up any big holes to the white side. Fianchetto. Bishop still needs to move before castles is on board. Knight here can hurt. How do you defend this? It's not a stable square. You go to g5. It'll be kicked. It's a little bit of a problem. You have to, yeah, you bend over backwards for just a little bit. Kick the knight away in time. Castles first, then here. Gonna play with this move, possibly? I think I like this move. Not right now, but at some point to get the queen some, some air. Maybe here, or baby step it. Just one little move, just uh, kind of fighting off this advance. Oh, he's playing with b5 right now, looking for a tempo with b4, some space, very cramping. He's going he's gonna to do that. Follow up here, here he's going after the king's throat, possibly. I like black's position. a5 first. This queen is in a giant box. <laughs> oh, this queen. Yeah, she needed some air. <laughs> okay, this pawn is around. She she has some air on this diagonal, and now pressure on e3. Oh, very cool sequence. He's going to allow the pawn to be taken. Let's hunt it down. But, oh, he's running right into a fork. He's getting some material. Or is he? Yes, he is. Takes away. He's hungry. Pac-Man pawn? Pawn takes knight, bishop takes knight, bishop takes bishop, queen takes bishop, pawn takes knight. None of the above. Doesn't want that just yet. He's returning to this diagonal now that there isn't bishop to d3. The knight goes on the defensive. So now pawn takes knight, takes, 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 queen takes, pawn takes, pawn. I think there's a simpler approach. Rook to d1, angling or uh, rook d8, knight h3, angling for knight g5. It's going to keep try and keep this structure as is. It, it, it does a real lot. It's not just there to control the bishop, but the queen. That's how valuable this structure is. Looking to get, get the pawn back. And, uh, yeah, he's not, you're not going to play here. I think, uh, what do you play here? Is this knight going to be extra pesky if you go to the corner? Knight g5? Yeah. You might have a little back and forth here. What's the story here? He might be okay with the draw. I, I, I feel that knight king would have to go for a bit more. So now this, I think you could go in for this move, although bishop takes pawn. These pieces come to life. Yeah, I think he, he wants to keep this still together. This square is covered, so you could afford the check and go here. You, you might have to work around a knight on e6 is the thing. That's the more sensitive square. He's okay with giving up exchanges because these guys are just not playing. Knight is flushed. He's taking out a key dark square defender. Of course, bishop. g7. Gonna try and break it down. And he castled. I forgot that that was even a move for white. Okay. Uh, well, black is up upon. He was looking for this advance, and it, black is in the driver's seat. Try and put some pressure on c2. The white pieces are tied down. White is angling for a5. The knights need to do something else. This knight could do something else. This knight has a responsibility. This knight needs to go somewhere else. Okay, reposition. And he's going to have to go into a prevent for a little bit. He's going straight in for it. I thought this would then that next. A little bit. Oh, he's really? Is there a way out of this? Oh, oh, nice shot, I think, by Knight King. How do you get out of this pin? Knight here. You have to go knight here. And in the end, you're on the bishop. Oh, I don't know how this one ends. This one's too close. It's even material now. Knight ending against Knight King. 
Okay, is he gonna move? Three seconds. Whoa, more active king for Team Black. A little bit of space in this ending. Black is better. By how much? I don't know. Too close to call. I don't know. Is is black even better? Black is black even up a pawn? Did I miscount? <laughs> May have miscounted. Oh, the king is slipping over. This pawn. Oh, we could have two past rook pawns soon. He's going after this guy. This guy's defended. Is the knight trapped? I don't think so. Waiting to see how fast this pawn is. Hang on to this guy. He doesn't care about him. The knight has to move in order for this guy to run. Oh, what a cool sequence. I love that move. Knight takes, and now there's two past rook pawns. You're not stopping them all. And that's going to be it. This pawn just runs. It's clean. Both of these are necessary to stop this one little guy on A2, and he gets the big W. Wow, what a game. 80 with fire. In first, 7 up from Watneg. 73 with fire. Still... Oh, big pairing. Here we go. Number one versus number two. 19 minutes to go. Whew. Second pairing for these two in this tournament. Starting with d4, combating the strong bishop. How many times have we seen this? This is very instructional. Th these games, there's so much really to take away from these guys. Very cool to see the, the different setups. How many times, right? These different patterns, how to set up the pawns and then build the pieces in, fit them in right behind the structure. Where do we go? One step or two? Probably one if you're intending on going kingside. Maybe two now, if since you get a tempo, if you want to be a bit more aggressive. And there still is the option to go queenside. This isn't the, you know, a terrible home having the A and B pawn still home. He's looking to build. Maybe playing with e4 if he can get that in. Queen to e2. This is maybe to combat this advance. He's tucking the pieces in. He's restricting. Doesn't want the knight to even step in his territory. Either knight to step in his territory for a move. Both pawns are around to negate the knights. Where do we go with the queen? You want to see the queen get active? You rule that out. Now bishop a3. It's not on my radar. Bishop a3. Okay. Queenside castles. Okay. So now here we've met with this. So maybe he has to baby step it. g3, h3, then g4. But maybe something is hitting really fast in the center for black. Is there time to go for this? Or maybe here and then this. No, there's still not enough support for e4. Can you get an e4 conveniently? Queen f2 on board. So now maybe this and then this. Oh, maybe that was the idea? To defend against this move? Maybe h3, g4 is there now. Because this move isn't there. The queen defends against queen h4. I like h3. h3, then g4. What is he thinking about? Let's see. What other move? Maybe rook here? Centralize? There's still not enough support for that. I like this idea. I don't know. I can't, I can't get away from that. He's going with g3. Okay. This is hitting fast. So D or excuse me, E5 is on board. The bishop repositions. Strong queen post. Strong pawn in the center. Pawn on D5. Minute 15. Time edge 25. And keep in mind their first encounter. It was Carlson's king that was on the run. <laughs> it was over here on the queen side. And it, uh, there was a rook on A3. Remember that game? And then somehow <laughs> this guy's king was running for his life. Oh, okay. Anyhow. Uh, we have another nail biter here. I love black structure. I love the centralization. He's doing some regrouping. And some regrouping by white. How do you where's where's the pawn pawn advance? Have to be extra delicate about opening up this diagonal. May want to just keep this nice and cozy over here. Some repositioning still by both sides. How will we... I think... I think this is still here, even though it's not hitting with tempo. Okay, the bishop's eyes are officially opened. Here and then here. Here weakens this square. You know. F5 is something I think about if uh, this move is in. 
Okay, going with h4, okay, here's the pawn break. c4 is that break. So we're going to have how many exchanges? Dark square bishops off, take with the rook or the pawn. Take with the pawn and then go here. Get some space. Well, the queen could get active on this square. Probably c, no, exchange rook first. Hmm, okay, so open c file and e file, both at about the 30 second mark. Still too close to call. The rook is going to defend here and maybe post up on this square. Yes, probably c3. Open file. Queen exchange happening soon. Queen e1. I think the black rook can get active and fast. This rook doesn't have an entry point and this one does. Doesn't want maybe, doesn't want queen e1. Queen d6, pressure on the pawn. Queen here? No, here. So this is a big square given up to black. This pawn running. You know, the black rook is going to be active soon. You know, I think black is better. Offer a queen exchange, and then there might be, you might have to go for a little bit of a back and forth. Even though white has the better uh, harmony between uh, structure and bishop, it, the black has the more active rook. I think we're going to have a perpetual, a little, or excuse me, repetition with the rooks. This rook is just out of control. You have to continually offset it. It's going to look for more. Maybe keep the rook on and then improve the bishop and then return somehow. I don't know, go back and then, I don't know, yeah, we just have repetition on that one. Ooh, well, that's a big draw, I would say. Um, 80, this is still too close to call. 82-77, Night King, and we do have Night King. If Night King wins this, he's only going to be one point back from first place one versus two we're getting some excellent pairings here down and down towards the end so let's see how this one finishes up 13 minutes to go wow three more games three four more games this could be this is his chance i think if he wins this one and wins a couple more i think he's i think he could very well walk away with the the first prize. Okay, what are we doing about this pawn, Black? How are you challenging the pawn duo? C5 is in there. Okay, so has an opportunity for space. Does not want it just yet. Staying flexible first. Okay, now if ever the knight moves, the bishop is knocked out. He's not taking here. Interesting. You know, he's saying, you take me, I take here, give check, and maybe I cause your king a problem. White says, I'm okay with that. I'm taking the pawn. <laughs> uh, let's offer a queen exchange. Let's go in, into an ending. Yeah, white is up a pawn. And has a... Oh, didn't see queenside castles. Oh, you could go queenside castles as well. Okay. This rook may struggle. White wants to simplify just a tick. He'll be able to manage that. This knight still, you know, you have to go to one of these two. So this bishop controls these two pawns. And now the knight is free to move. He's eyeing up this square. Can you afford b3 and then tuck the bishop away? Or you could move forward. Yeah, you know, forward like this or that. So a clumsy rook. And now knight to d4. Unless there's some great tactic for black, I don't see anything. I think there needs to be a tactic here. Oh, that was the other thing. That's why the rook went to this square. Okay, I guess it could have went here. But it has a roll. It has to defend e7. Knight, d5, knight d4 on the way. Yeah, this doesn't look good for black. Down a pawn and... Yeah, this is this is really nice. He, still, he can't castle. This rook is the only problem for white, if there is one. But I, I feel that it will be sorted out... Get one rook exchange, a couple more exchanges, and this uh, this king could probably slip on out. And the rook will be on d1 before you know it. So, much rather have a pawn defend a pawn. One rook being exchanged soon, so we might have this, yes. Oh, no, 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 no. He's taking, does he still think he could castle? Why, why did he take with the the bishop instead of the king? <laughs> I'm not sure. Mysterious move, taking with the bishop instead of the king. I don't, yeah, I don't, I don't understand that one, because it also still gets in the way of the rook. One day trying to get to the the d file. 
<laughs> is this the idea? No, I don't know. I can't make sense of that move. Bishop here. Control the knight. It's taking out the bishop. Is the rook going to be trapped? I think the rook would have been trapped. Black just resigned. Yeah, there wasn't a good square for the rook. I think that's probably... Is it, is it sealed? It's close to being sealed. Um, 84 up 7 with only 10 minutes to go. That was a big win. 84-77 macro, the seventh place guy. Okay, that's appealing. Sicilianish. Oh, this is pro oh, this is very normal. We're gonna have an accelerated uh dragon. A super accelerated dragon, maybe. <laughs> it's already Fianchetto. The most normal position. One of the most normal positions you'll see in a chess 960. And this one move says you will no longer be able. To castle kingside. Okay, so a very familiar structure. And he's really keying in on the dark squares now. Eliminating a defender of the dark. It isn't a hole on d4. Okay, what's he going to play with? This. b5, b4, something else? Something in the center? No, b5, b4. Okay, after b5, bishop, h6, I wonder if that should have been played first. No, he's playing with the pawn. Whoa, he's going... Oh, he's already anticipating he has to go this way because there is no castling in this direction, although he could have castled by hand. Where did the king start? Okay, the king started on e1. Sorry, I wanted to see that real quick. I think he still could have castled kingside, just went by hand. There's a problem on c3, to be sure. You're in a pin, and there's no good way to defend it. Yeah, this pawn is going to be one. It's an extra. An extra pawn, a passed pawn. The rook is hit. It could go here. Oh, extending the pawn. That's a killer. And there is no check. Very important detail. Otherwise, you're getting mated. And this one's game over. <laughs> Queen exchange, no stopping that guy. Wow, is that B pawn fast. Okay. Another win and a quick one. And fire. 86 with fire. Up now 9. I think one more W and it will be sealed officially. Wow. Are we going to get another game in there? Let us see. No pairing yet. I think we got one coming in. Yes, we do. Another one against Night King. All right. The number two guy still fighting for... Hmm? It's still up in the air there, the second play spot. Let's see. Starting out with d4. Bishop is not hitting on anything. Probably e4. It could be supported if it's struck at. Oh, opening up the bishop's eyes. Okay. Is it okay to go with this right now? e4, allow a valuable tempo? Yeah, he's going with e4, saying it's okay. Oh, he's going to get some space? Ooh, he's allowing some space. Wow, f4. Beautiful pawn on e5. So strong. I think the piece is falling. Some excellent squares now. Yeah, knights are awesome. Some space with this guy. This guy's hit. It's defended. Look at that. Beautiful. Tucking the pieces in right behind this little triangle. Triangle variation of position 660. Some space for this guy. Excuse me. Some space on the queen side. The A pawn got a little fast there. Hmm. I wonder if he should have just stopped that cold. Okay, king side castle. Queen will be out of there soon. A locked position where will there be a pawn break we have our answer right away c4 is it pressure against d4 minute 36 for night king there's a pin here huh yeah black will have this square to work with taking away from the center if you take that knight out he's gonna go on the defensive a little bit at some point i think this advance it takes some work though Kick the knight, get the queen somewhere else, centralize, and you're ready to roll. And then there's a big question mark over the king. Where are you really ever safe? 
Okay, 111. Five minutes and change. He's in the think tank. What should black do here? Can black castle kingside? He's going to focus on d5. Try and get a light square bishop exchange in there. There still is this pin. The queen is getting active. He doesn't care about giving this knight a kick. He has it under control. And now he gives it a kick. I think this knight has to get right back here and fast right now. Well, not just yet. This pawn is pinned, but I think he need, he needs to get to a better square. I think you have to control this pawn advance. This knight also needs some work, and it's not clear how you get this knight on a good square. Not good on h6, f7. You kind of want to have both knights here if you can. So maybe this, maybe this, this, and this. Okay, out of the pin, white is still prepping this advance. Oh, as soon as this knight moves, there's also this move, possibly. Okay, he's in there. Still can't move it, though. M maybe you do, but the knight is hanging. Oh, he might go for it, though. Here, bishop takes, pawn takes knight. Yeah, because in the end, look at this knight, if there's a pawn here. Connected with the knight on this square. Okay, he's taking a pawn down first. And now f4, under fire. May have missed that, uh, that sequence. He's giving this pawn up with check. Just to open this diagonal, the king, the queen, are in some trouble. Queen here. Has to be met with queen here. This knight, this knight is, um, is a struggling piece. Yeah, that's a serious threat against the bishop and mate. So it prevents the attack against the bishop. Queen has to be, oh, uh, and you could, you could take, you could win a pawn. He wants more, though. He's hitting the queen. She has to go back, and now the queen side is blasted open. B7 hits everything. No? Looking for something else. Maybe, I don't know what. Something other than queen takes b7? Is this going to be the last game? It might be the last game. 24 seconds apiece. He does take b7. He's on the bishop. Going to take another pawn? There's no perpetual attack against the queen, is there? She slips out. And yeah, she'll slip out. Uh, by way of b6, I guess. And it's, yeah, still with an eye on this square. So now, ooh, okay. Yeah. There's a big square here. She's still... <laughs> look at how many times the queen is positioned in a way where she's, you know, ready to get right back on that diagonal. Watch out for the fork. Knight g3. Strong knight. Okay. Passed pawn. One of these two are going to be passed. Rook there. There's this. Yeah, two big connected passed pawns. Strong knight. This... Pass pawn is not felt. Um, are you fast enough to defend this pawn? He might have to. He's going to drop that pawn. This knight is a mile away. Or is he? Or is he? Because there's this and then here with the check. Forget about that. Okay, material, defend your base points first. He's really giving up B2. Oh, a sneaky move. Yeah, the rook has to go like that, doesn't he? Could take this pawn, and the rook has to go passive. What's the timing on this one? Yeah, I think it's draw. I think he's there. Oh, no, 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 there's king here. I was thinking he's going to go in this direction. No, this is a win. This pawn is pushing through. King here, and then you kick the king away. A W. Well, he's, yeah, his time ran out. Is that the final game? No, not the final game. Are the pairings closed? 90 with fire? He's He's got the W. He's walking away with first. Is there going to be another game? There is one more game against Opper, and this one is still up in the air for second place. Nah, I don't think this game's going to finish. A minute 25. All right, final game of the tournament. Most likely a game that will not count for the tournament. So let's see. Okay. I'm gonna build. What's black gonna do? Strike with one of these two. And it seems to be gearing up for d4. Has enough support for it. Not so fast. C5, insisting, and 
Black makes sure to get in d5 because white is ready to get in d4 himself and this pawn could end up very weak. So black is not a fan of uh, playing with some backward pawn. There is a mate threat now on h7. Bishop and the queen. How do you defend? Go one step. Probably just go one step, yeah? Oh, oh, f5. Definitely don't go here and weaken the dark squares. So there's two ways. h6 and f5. f5. And now the queen could also play. And so, you know, Black has, has a mate threat on g2. How do you defend that? Rook f2. Centralize. What's this pawn going to do? So this rook move was played... And this move never got in. Is it, is it going to be played now? Enough support for it? Maybe. I think there's enough support for it. Maybe it would be met with c4, although there is this follow-up. White seems very defensive now with this, uh, this rook position. Black keeping the queens on and eyeing up bishop h4. Ooh, that move could sting. Bishop here. Gets the light square bishop if you want it, and then you somehow get the knight here. Now he's giving some extra weight to this bishop. He could play this and then offset the bishop in the corner with bishop f6. Or, um, yeah, this pawn is definitely feeling some heat. Ooh. There is a pin. Takes. Take here with check. Zero on the tournament clock. Okay, we are going in for this. Strong piece. Queen exchange and then defend the bishop? No. Knight takes bishop, rook takes bishop. What's the material? Three pawns? Okay. A pawn and bishop versus a rook. So how to convert this? Get one minor piece exchange. That would be nice for black. A rook exchange as well. Any exchange is probably good. Okay. What was that? Bishop. Minor piece exchange on board. Both of these pawns are hit. Knight takes pawn. Bishop takes pawn. Well, maybe in between move, though. There would be knight to e6 in that variation. He's so ready to pick this pawn up. Rook takes pawn? I think he gets this guy at the end. Maybe rook takes you back the bishop up. And then there's a lot of stuff happening here. Bishop f7. Bishop here. Bishop f7. Yeah, these two are going to be hit at the end. You have to go for the rook exchange. I think it's clean from here. This pawn will fall. This rook is way out of control. Where's the bishop going to go, first of all? Under 30 for opera. Both a pawns are going to come off. Maybe play, no, uh, give the knight a kick, or just take here straight away. What's the way forward? Save the pawn, kicking it with a6, and now taking. Mm. Still posing some problems. One, two, three, four, two pawns and a knight versus the rook. Okay, this game continues. Get the king active. This is defended. The knight is eyeing up c5. Bishop here, knight c5. Rook c2. The rook activity before it's not allowed. Knight c5 would cut the rook off. a2 is hit. Here, here. Is he going to run? Okay. A little bit of a race. The bishop will stop the pawn. Try to run here. The rook is also there to try and stop the pawn. Also, these pieces are tied. To, the bishop is tied down. The king is cut off. Oh, the rook. What is the rook not doing, right? He's going to go pawn hunting, first of all. I think winning this pawn. And I think it's clean from here. This pawn flies, and I don't see how you stop it. Neither does Opper. Okay, that right there is the final game. Opera resigned that one. And here are your final standings. These three hours flew by for me. The doctor walks away with it. Um, I believe uh, he was on his cell phone the whole time <laughs> playing this tournament.
<laughs> last I checked. Could be off. Maybe things changed. But uh, he pulled it off with only three goose eggs. Final stats here. Performance rating 2686, 32 games counted for the tournament, 84% win rate, average opponent 2318. How many draws were in there? Um, three losses, two draws, yeah, rest wins. So here are the final standings. So first place, the Doctor, Watneg, second. Dr. Basim Amin, Night King 96, and Opper ended up in fifth. Penguin, just out of the money with 76. No pairings between the Doctor and Penguin. And that's a first for an arena. Uh, the first 960 arena. And, yeah, let's add a, a good games all here. Good games all. And let's also go through the pages so we can see so we can see everybody else who played first page some ims there in the mix boss alexander ulanov let's see page two former player that was the in the early game carlson was down a rook and then he ended up losing on time ended up earning 63 points in the tournament page three Page 4, 960 is a lot of fun. Okay. No, oh, yeah. He had a very good game against Carlson as well. He needed that uh, King H2 move in time pressure. Let's see. We're 100 players in. Still at the point where players did actually compete. A lot of competitors for this first 960 arena. And no, I thought I saw all zeros there for a second. Still going through. Page 20. We're close to the point where nobody competed. And that's it. So about what? 235 ended up playing. Okay, that's as far as I'm going to go. Nobody else got a game in there. So those are your final standings. What a tournament. This was a lot of fun.